Here I go. There it is. All right, we live. Oof. Oof. If so, look, who would believe it if I said I just ran three miles to get here to the live? Don't answer that. Don't worry about it. I'm we'll just we'll just get it going. Shanna, what's up? Stay mad, loser. Coy, what's good? What's good? What's good? Quilly, how you doing, man? Jason, the Ewings are in the building. Lawrence Lilly, Maurice Evans. What's up? What's up? Fat guy with guns is in the building. Um, my bad, y'all. I was a couple minutes late doing stuff that people in the gun world do. Holds me up a little bit. 762 Ghost, what's good? Grand Life AJ, Calvin Carbine. What's crack a lacking? Only June in the building. Michael J. Miller. What's happening, man? Appreciate you all checking in with me. Jay, the budget gun buyer. We're going to have a good live tonight. We're going to talk some talk some good stuff. Roro, what's up, brother? Joseph Harris, what's going on, my partner? Silverback. Um, today I had a, an eventful day, y'all, so. I'll talk about it as we go, but it was it was a good good eventful day though. Competitive eventful day. Edward Andrews, how are you? Javon Martin, what's going on? Howard J. Lamerick, what's up? What's up? I feel like I missed somebody. If I did, charge it to my eyes. They're going bad. Speak again. I'll probably see it the second time. I'm usually good on that on the second time around. If y'all don't mind, please hit the like button for me on your way in. Mr. R. Daniels, how are you, sir? OG Deuce Dollar, what's cracking? If you guys don't mind, please, please, please hit the like button for me. We are going to have a guest stopping by tonight, and we do have a good, what I think is a good topic. Hear it all the time. CJ, what's up? Demetrius, what's going on? What's going on, everybody checking in? Appreciate it. My main man, Real Deal, what's up? I got to go out and find the big fella. I don't know where he's at. He always running late. I be looking for him, and I don't know where he's at. He, he's never on time. Don't know what his problem is, but Cal, what's going on? Big Riz, what's up? What's up? There's the big fella. What's up, man? Yeah, what up? What up? You know, you're one of the most difficult guys in the world to find. I've been sitting here for 30 minutes waiting on you to show up, and then you decide to show up late. But it's okay, man, as long as you make it. That's what they say. I ain't hard to be found, man. Yeah, you know. <laughs> what's going on with you, man? Man, what's up, man? Nothing much, bro. Nothing. How was your day? It was a good day. It wasn't bad. I gotta say, it wasn't bad. It wasn't a bad day. Okay, okay, okay. It wasn't a bad day. All right, we hope we had we had fifty people right now. Mr. Charles Henry, how are you? Let me um. What up? Two dollars. Let me go pay the bills, as I say. Fam, fam, what up? So, if you didn't know, if you've been somewhere out of space or out the country, or off of social media, anything like that, refrigerator queue, tap in. Philly slow was good. What up, y'all? June 16th, 17th. If you're not aware, matter of fact, I'm gonna give a disclaimer to not a disclaimer, but a uh, an exclusive tonight. More but anyway, more. June 16th, 17th, South Georgia, a regular meetup three. Tickets are currently on sale. Deal. What up? And you can also go and vote for hey, this Bernard year's Bernard. RGA's regular gun tube awards. Dennis Dixon, Burner Girl, what's up? Whoa, what up? I appreciate everybody who's already purchased tickets. Appreciate everybody who's already voted. If you haven't had a chance to do that, please do. We're going to get the link out there in the chat for you guys to either go vote or purchase your tickets. On Friday morning, we have the women's conference. Friday evening, we have the official meet and greet at the hosting hotel, which is now sold out. Mm -hmm. But that's okay. Things happen. Um, Saturday morning, 
the official range day where we'll provide lunch, snacks, drinks, cooling station, everything that's necessary to make range day fun. A lot of guns out there, a lot of fun out there. Big Riz. Um, later on that evening, we have the official RGAs slash sneaker ball. This year's theme is a sneaker ball. Boy, I can't wait to see some of the sneakers walking in the room. Mm -hmm. Make sure you dress real nice and have on a nice clean pair of sneakers. That's the thing. That's the only thing that could mess it up, in my opinion. <laughs> shoes are dirty. <laughs> can't come in with no dirty shoes to a sneaker ball. Somebody so, got shoes. So we got to stick to the theme, man. Go out and get some nice sneakers and, and come in. We're going to have some fun. We follow that up with a concert by the legendary Twister himself. That's going to be a whole lot of fun. Uh, we also serve in dinner. So dinner will be served right before the RGAs. Then we'll do, obviously, it'll be the RGAs, the sneaker ball, Twister will perform. And then there's an after party for, you know, it's going to be a, we're not all young bucks no more, man. No, no. You know, after parties don't last as long as they used to. You know, you do an after party now, it might be 20 minutes, man. And then everybody going to sleep. So right. we'll, we'll, we'll see how it goes. See how long the old people can last. All right. So that was my that was my commercial for a regular meetup weekend. Um, outside of that, what else is going on? Here it is, the exclusive. When I checked this morning, there's literally about forty six tickets left to this event before it's completely sold out. That's a true statement. Forty six tickets left now <laughs> full disclaimer you know we had to we have tickets set aside for sponsors and influencers the influencers that'll be showing up so we have those but also what we have for allowed capacity right now there's 46 tickets left so if you do plan on coming i would suggest you go ahead and get those tickets That's as soon great. as possible so if we can make sure we get the link out there in the chat that'll be awesome so I'll do again. What up, money, Mike? <clears throat> so, so man, brother, hmm. tonight, tonight we have a good topic and a guest to come in. Um, and I think this is gonna get fun. I think it's gonna be very interactive. I think so. Ramsey J. This is something up? we should have been talked about. Ramsey J, what's up? Anybody that just came in, I didn't get a chance to speak to you. What's going on, fam? Fam, I see you out there. So I said we should have been done this topic, man. You know. Yeah. Because you you and Billy told me we should make it innovate innovation versus traditional, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. That's sugarcoating to me. Mm. This is really old school, new school. Are you a red dot guy? You're an Ironsight guy. Yeah. Do you go with the technology? Do you go with the old school scope when you're shooting long distance? Or do you need that fancy SIG BDX stuff that you press a button and it's sighted in for you and do all of that? Are you mm. embracing that? Do you need all the cool features on your gun? Do a gun really need the mag well, the front and rear serrations, and all the other cool <laughs> stuff that come on the new firearms? And you know, all this old tricky stuff, man. Mm. What, or can, are you just shooting? Are you shooting to get better and and do it like the old school guys used to do it? I want to do both. <laughs> you know, I'm, I, I just want to know. Go on, both. Go on both. People, people see this stuff differently. So so I got a brother coming in tonight, Mr. Roy Hill himself, and he represents Brown Nails. So I know a lot of us shop at Brown Nails. If you don't, you should start because if you use the code RGG10, you can save yourself 10% on your order. That'll be dope. So, But I'm sure most of you guys are familiar with Brown Nails. And we'll have him talk a little bit more about that. But more importantly, he's a gun guy. So he's been around his business for a long time. It's not like he's some... Some new dude that don't know the, don't know nothing about guns, so he could come in and really engage in this conversation with us, and he could tell us what he sees from the retail space mm -hmm. because they do sell firearms and everything under the sun for the most part. So, but before I bring him in, how many how many likes we got though? Uh, hold on, I gotta go refresh. I'll tell you, you guys don't mind, please hit the like button. Not telling you to, I'm asking you to. I say that all the time. Only if you feel like it, you know, because sometimes people have arthritis. Sometimes there's other stuff going on. Only you know. 32. What? Only 32. No. 33. 33. No. 
Yeah. That's not possible. That's not possible. You made me pull out my phone. Not saying you're lying, just don't believe you. Say that different, real deal. Damn. That's disrespectful. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, actually, well, yeah, said <laughs> he's right. I kind of felt like he 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 played off of you when he when he made that comment. I know, <laughs> but you're absolutely right. And man, you... <laughs> oh, thank you, Ramsey J. I'm glad you took time out to go and uh and hit the button for me. I appreciate it big time. Big Riz, did you hit the like button? Cause I see now, I see forty nine now. It refreshed. Well, I just logged into it, but we, I, I at least, yeah, it's safe, it's safe getting, the, getting the likes caught up a little bit. That would be great. Now we have fifty. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what it is? I think I haven't been going live on Wednesday nights mm -hmm. in a while now. This is probably my first time in what a couple months. Yeah. So. Uh, but I think you're going to be seeing me on Wednesday nights now. True. What up? Going Josh. Forward. Josh Holmes, Money Mike. What's good, man? If you guys are just checking in, please take some time out to hit the like button for me because likes are important in this. Um, YouTube. Big win. He hit likes on two devices. <laughs> Thanks, man. I needed it. I needed it. I was struggling over here, struggling over here with the likes. What up, Kaba? Kaba, what's good, man? Hey, Kaba, I got like a... I know Kaba got an event coming up here in Illinois. Mm -hmm. I got like a final notice from him. Why am I Why am I getting... Why am I getting final notices, bro? Am I, am I a nobody? <laughs> you know, I feel like I should just be able to, you know, make a call and pull up. Like, I'm... Hey, if you're coming, you better hurry up because uh, we won't let you in. What <laughs> you know, hey Kaba, you know, you do realize I do have some famous friends. <laughs> I talk to my famous friends, they like, man, we good. Like, we yeah, we're gonna pull up the car. I'm like, man, I'm getting final notices in the mail. Like, hey, if I don't get a payment real soon, you're not gonna be able to get in the door. So I better get my life together if I want to be at Kaba's event. Say you did, you hit, did you hit the like button? You are somewhat somebody. <laughs> <laughs> oh thanks man i appreciate that thank you you know if i don't feel like i'm somebody nobody will it's true um so anybody else before before i bring mr hill in i'm just waiting and i know he's waiting on us he's like what are these people doing but i'm just waiting to get more likes and let more people come in let more people get the notifications so they can get in here Mm -hmm. You know, we'll, we'll cross the hundred people mark soon, but we gotta wait. They're not used to seeing me tonight. So, but I do want to talk about something else. Mm. Um, you guys been hearing about this firearm though. Been a lot of talk about that uh the stealth arms, man. Mm -hmm. And I know I know a few people that received theirs. Now, I don't know if they had a chance to shoot it yet or whatever. But anybody got their stealth arms, the, the platypus, and had a chance to take to the range yet? What up, Patrick? He said, say it with me. I am somebody. <laughs> <laughs> I am somebody. So I want I want to see if anybody, if anybody received theirs that's willing to tell me about it. Because I was definitely trying to steal some of you guys' designs. You know? Lemeric, don't put me on the spot like that. Right. <laughs> he says staccato or platter, but don't don't do that to me, man. You're gonna hurt my feelings. How are we looking on the likes? If we pass, if we had 70 likes, then I'm gonna bring Mr. Hill in. We'll let the crowd catch up. But we need to get this thing going. We had 65. Okay, we need five more likes. So this is what I like to do sometimes. If you guys never saw me do this, it's one of the most fun things that I ever do on this live. I just want to by a show of hands in the chat, who didn't hit the like button? <laughs> Maybe you got busy, you're tied up, you just don't feel like it. Just put a me in the chat if you just decided not to hit the like button. And I'm not going to be upset with you. I just like to know what I'm dealing with. Like, 
like who just didn't feel like hitting it or whatever. So, you know, I'm going to wait like a minute and see. Hey, Yoki. What's up? Hi, Yoki. See, I told you, Kaba, I got famous friends. You don't, how often you go around and you see Yoki stir up checking the live stream? You don't. You don't see that, right? And not only did she check in, she hit the like button. Mm -hmm. How about that? I know what to do. If Yoki decides to come to Chicago and she goes to Kaba event, I'm going to drive her there. Okay. At that point, he can't not let me in, right? Right. He got to let you in. See? See how that works? Sometimes you got to think ahead, man. Never let them know what you're doing. Though. <laughs> All right. We had 93 people. Did we cross 70 likes yet? Give me a second. I'll tell you. Rita uh, Tapping uh, Holly LLC. Is that Miss Rita? I think that is Miss Rita. How you doing, Miss Rita? I need to, I've been saying I need to talk to Miss Rita for um, two, three months now. Still ain't got on the phone with it. Got to make that happen. All right. I'm going to bring my guest in, though. I'm going to bring in Mr. Hill from Brown Nails, guys. So let's have a real good conversation because I want to see how many of y'all got because it's it's a lot of people that's old with young minds. <laughs> or they old and don't know they old. You know how you know how that go? Uh-huh. You be getting up in age and you be in your mind, you still think you, you know, 27. When I go to stand up, I realize I ain't 27. <laughs> yeah, but it happens, man. It happens to the best of us, man. So all right, guys, I'm gonna bring my guest on. I appreciate y'all. Make sure you hit the like button. We almost at 100 people. People starting to get the notifications now. Right. We're going to go ahead and get to work. All right, here we go. Hey, 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 Mr. Hill. How you howdy, doing? Howdy, howdy. Uh, rock hey, and roll. Man. Can y'all see me and hear me? Yeah. Oh, yeah, man. I cool. see you. I was, I was I having a little, little headset issue. I was hoping to charge it up. Thank you so much for having me on, RGG. I'm glad to be on your show for the first time. Oh, man. Listen, I'm glad to have you, man. You know, I heard so many good things about y'all here in this industry. you always everywhere doing everything. I appreciate you taking out time to come hang out with me, man. Thank you. Thank you. It's my honor and privilege to be here with you all tonight. And I look forward to chopping it up. I heard you were talking about getting old, which I am, unfortunately. <laughs> me too. And, and, and old school versus new school on gun stuff. So this is this is stuff I'm very interested in. Oh, yeah. Let's do it, man. We're going we're gonna to really talk about it. But if you don't mind, I'll let you tell the people a little bit about yourself so, so yes. we know what we're up against. And yes. I hope you I hope you're ready for a fun I'm, night, man. I'm ready. I'm ready. All Let's right, go. Let's go. So go Hell ahead. Yeah. You tell the people about yourself. All right. Well, my name is Roy Hill and and and, and Zach, right? We we're talking to Zach earlier. Yeah, and Zach. he asked me on Instagram, why are you called Possum Fatback? And that's how you find me on Instagram. I am Possum Fatback. I'm originally from Arkansas, and the and the short story is I was gonna do cowboy action shooting like 300 years ago, back when it was actual real. And of course, when you do cowboy action shooting, you have to have an alias. You can't just shoot under your own name and you got to dress up Western. So because I was from Arkansas, I wanted the most Arkansas cowboy action shooting name I could come up with. And <laughs> I picked Possum Fatback. Now, I mean, you can't get any more Arkansas than that. Not I mean, maybe all. you can, but it'd be hard. And uh, things happen. And I wound up never, ever, ever doing cowboy action shooting. We know I got all the guns for it. OK, but I realized I could not let something as good as possum fatback go to waste. <laughs> so so that became my it. Instagram handle. So that's that's me. I, I work at Brownells. My official title is a senior brand communications manager. I've been there for 11 years. Uh, I've, I've done all sorts of weird things in the past. I've been a sports writer. I've been a college English instructor. Uh, I used to be a concealed carry instructor at Arkansas. But uh, 11 years ago, I had to get in the gun industry. I had to come be around like-minded folks. And I was lucky enough to get hired at Brownells. And I've more or less been there ever since. Look at that, man. You mm -hmm. are. Man. So tell us a little bit more about Brownells. Oh, yeah. As a whole. Right. Well, Brownells is uh, located in Iowa. It's a third generation family owned company that's always been in Iowa. Uh, it's still owned by the Brownell family. That's why it's called Brownells. It's been around since 1939. So mm. um, started off mainly as a gunsmith supply house doing tools and chemicals and, and fixtures and whatnot for gunsmiths and really focused on serving professional gunsmiths for about the first 60, 65 years. And then as, as things got more modern, because you were talking about old school versus innovation, yeah. uh, they took that old school brand and we got ourselves a website about the year 2000. That's even before I got hired. And started selling online, and then the uh, product offering has gotten broader. And we, we we will always serve the gunsmith. We will always have gunsmith stuff, 
But uh, ever since I've been with the company, we've added stuff like ammo, uh, about 5,000 different models of guns. You can buy guns off brownells.com. We've got a, a pretty easy system for doing that. Of course, it has to ship to an FFL. Mm -hmm. uh, magazines, uh, all sorts of things. I like to say if it goes in a gun, on a gun, through a gun, or it is a gun, we probably have it. Hmm. And if, <laughs> if we don't have it, if you holler at us and say, hey, we want to buy it, we'll probably pick it up. <laughs> figure out how to get it. We'll figure right, out how cool. to get it. Yeah. So there you go, guys. We got the link out there in the chat. So you guys got any brown nail stuff or you're looking for any type of anything that goes through a gun, on a gun, or is a gun, go mm -hmm. check out brown nails. You can do that while we're on the site if you choose to and save you a little money by using the RGG10 code. RGG10. Yes, Hit sir. it. Heck, heck now, yeah. Let me let me ask you right now, man. Hit me. And you and you're you're a gun guy. Oh, yes. Are, have you embraced the new stuff, the technology, the, the red dot game, or do you still prefer to go the old way? Yes. Okay. <laughs> right, yes, right. You said earlier, both. Yeah, yeah. I've, I've got a pistol with a red dot. Excuse me. <laughs> I was shooting a uh, uh, one of our new uppers, a BRN-180SH with a red dot on it today. Uh, mm -hmm. but, but I was at the range this morning, too, except it was an outdoor range, and it was kind of cold here in Iowa. Okay. But, uh, before the, the range day was over, I shot an FN 510, the brand new 10 millimeter pistol that set up for red dot. Hmm. And then I shot an 1891 Argentine Mauser that was made in 1896. Hmm. So even this morning, I was doing both. So you were doing both. Do you, I was do you have both. a preference? You, you've embraced it, but do you have a preference? It depends on what kind of shooting I'm doing. If, if, if I'm doing, if I'm practicing for real self-defense life and death type stuff. I want the most updated, easy to use technology I can get, whatever that is. Mm. If, if I do hunt deer, for example, when I hunt deer, I use an 1853 infield rifle musket, a muzzle loader from the civil war. Mm. Uh, and uh, yeah, if, have y'all ever seen the movie glory with Morgan Freeman? Yeah. 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 That's the rifle. The, the 54th Massachusetts gets issued. There's that famous scene when they crack, crack open the crate and he looks down and says five, seven, seven infield Ooh. rifle musket <laughs> finest in the world. Ooh. And that's, that's my deer gun. That's my deer guns. Five, wow. seven, seven infield rifle musket. So uh, it depends on what I'm, what I'm working on. If I'm doing self-defense or, or tactical shooting, I want all the bells and whistles I can get. But I also, I, I mean, I'm not, a hardcore car guy, but I mean, they're car guys who, who don't want to drive anything if it's not a stick shift, right? Right, right, right. Right. So if I'm just shooting just for the pleasure of shooting or I'm doing something goofy like trying to hit a target at 500 yards, I want old school. I want really? I want iron sights and bolt action and wood stock. I like that old school stuff for that. But I get it. It just depends. And, and the best part, I think, about getting into guns is you can go both ways. You can do both. You don't have to do both, but you, you can go. do both. There you go, That's real yeah. deal. You can go both ways. You can go both ways. In the gun game. So now that's interesting because what you just said, I probably would have guessed the entire opposite. Okay. So like like when you say for self-defense and life or death, I, I probably want to have, especially with my pistol, my handgun, right? I, I want iron sights. I don't want I want to have less possibility of failure i don't want yep. too much stuff to be able to go wrong i don't need an, i don't need the light i don't need any of that i just need the gun and i just need it to work right right then I'll be i'm trying to win a competition or something yeah or, or i'm shooting competitively now oh, i yeah. want all the bells and whistles in the cheek yeah. oh yeah 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 I, and i i get that and understand that. i used to think exactly the same way uh i mean for example personally i used to just be against red dots on handguns until i shot about 10 or 15 of them and i went Oh, I get it. <laughs> I get it now. Mm. I yeah. can just I could just look down range at the threat or the target and the little red dot magically appears and the bullet goes the red dot is. Yeah. Now you got to get I mean, to be really good, reliable. I mean, you're going to pay for the technology. But uh, I used to be against that until I shot several of the pistols and I had that, you know, the little light bulb went off over my head. and I went, "Ooh, this is cool. This helps. I like that. I, I think so. So, so I had this conversation on the range today. By the way, I was outside too. So we were okay. We, cool. We, we were both we out in the cold. It's almost fifty degrees here today. So that's oh, hot this man. time of year, you know. In the Midwest, yeah, it started. It was like twenty-seven degrees this morning, starting off here. Oh, yeah, yeah, it was. Yeah, it I was, was not fun. No way for that. But so <laughs> we had this conversation, and there just happened to be a fellow on the range with me that was law enforcement. 
okay? And we we just the, – the conversation came up randomly about we, – we were having some little competitions inside of our crew, mm-hmm. shooting steel targets or whatever. And he's like, well, I'm going to go with the irons. And I'm like, well, you prefer you prefer the irons, man? I mean, we're going to be shooting steel or whatever. And he's like, well, that's just my thing. Whenever I'm training defensive, you know, it's always about iron sights. And mm-hmm. he goes, he's completely against – the, well, not completely against it, but he's kind of against red dots on your carry pistol mm-hmm. because ninety nine percent of the time in a defensive situation, you never see the sights. You never see the sights. It's going to be three yards or less, and yeah, yeah. and yeah. you're just pointing and shooting. So you, so it's like you know, how often are you going to look at the dot or see your sights? Unless you're in the fight long enough, that's mm-hmm. when your sights will come into play. Yep, yep. So that got me thinking even more about old school versus new school because I know a ton of guys who carry with the red dot on their gun. Right. So do I. So do I. Now, the, the other thing in my case is I, I wear a contact in my right eye okay. that I see distance with. And it's real hard whenever I present a, a handgun out like this. That front sight is very blurry to me because of my right eye because I got a contact. And now my left eye is my close up eye. But I'm at the age where my eye is not so good anymore. Not like it was when I was 20 or 30. Hmm. And so it's just. If if I get in a situation where I'm going to need the sights, I I the red dots just easier for me to see because I it's real hard for me to see the front sight on a handgun anymore, right handed and right eyed. Now that's interesting, Roy. You telling me you got a high beam and a low beam? Yes, I do. <laughs> hey, first, that's the first on the live. Yeah. that's pretty yeah. interesting. So I mean, they're bad, but they're not bad enough to to. I mean, I, I was wearing glasses and I just kept losing my glasses and they were just annoying and I, I'd sweat on them and they'd fog up and, and the doc said, well, you know, we can put we can put one in here and go go no contact over here and you probably could could figure it out because they're not bad enough, but they're <laughs> bad enough to be blurry on the front side. Yeah, yeah, we we label that a sticky tism over here. Yes, a sticky tism. <laughs> yes, yeah. I I think I got one too. I'm not sure. I I don't know what's wrong with my eyes, man. They. I see something different all the time. It's it's weird, but yeah. I mean, I I love I love <coughs> technology in general. Oh yeah, I'm one of those guys. So not just in the gun world, I'm a person that embraces technology. I always blame it on my weight. I say I'm a, I'm a big <laughs> I'm a, for real. I'm a big I'm a big guy, right? So I, I want to do as little physical work as possible. So <laughs> if there's something technically advanced enough. To get things done faster, I'm all for it. Let that technology do the work. Heck yeah. So, so I'm a technology guy. But yes. oftentimes I hear people who just prefer the old way. Right, right. Now, I don't I don't know what we label those guys as. But let me ask the chat. Do you guys prefer irons or red dot? We're going to use – because that's probably the most popular topic when it comes to, to accepting – modern technology versus Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. the old school way Mm -hmm. so what do you guys think out there i'll I'll wait for that answer zach what about you red dot guy all right i'm a red dot guy yeah you've told me that before yeah i I like i like shooting with irons but for the most part when i'm shooting i'm I'm a red dot guy i transitioned to red dots a long time ago now even for your carry pistol my carry pistol no to me with a carry pistol for me, I see a red dot as a point of failure. That's hmm. just own, that's my own philosophy. That that's why. And like you say, I'm gonna be at what three yards, three feet, whatever. I'm not gonna probably get to present that. I might not get to present and look at that red dot. But them sights, they always did get a nice bright front sight. That's a high vis front sight, you know, or some fiber optic, and boom, you know, wherever the front of that gun goes, where that bullet should go. Hmm. <laughs> I'm totally right. So hopefully, hopefully. Right. Yeah, I mean, that's interesting, right? So, because I'm looking, I see a lot of red dot, red dot, red dot. Where does the red dot come into play? And I'm talking mainly on your defense pistol because this confuses me. When I got, I, I switched my defense pistol from a 365 to a 2.0, an MP 2.0. Mm-hmm. I wanted to go with a bigger gun because I'm I'm a bigger guy. The 365 was easier to conceal, but when I would reach for to practice my draw. Sometimes it was hard to get a good purchase on that smaller gun. Right. I wanted to go right. with a, a bigger frame gun. So I went ahead and got the optic ready version. Started out with an optic on it because I'm like, I'm going to try this, man. I think, you know, I'm, I'm getting better with my shooting. I'm feeling more comfortable. But anything that I want to practice in a from a defense standpoint, 
the red dot just wasn't doing me any good. Because what happens when I present and, I, and I'm not perfect on that presentation and I don't see the dot or right, you know, right. What distance do I cite it in at? If I'm just, mm -hmm. if I'm citing it for defense, am I citing it at seven? Am I citing it at five? Am I citing it at three? Because red dots get the accuracy is different the closer you get. Because you start getting closer, you, you're not, what do you have to do? Shoot low, low. or high or something like that? Shoot low. Yeah. yeah. So, so where do you cite it at? So I just gave up and took it off the gun. Like, no, screw that. I'm just going to stick with my with my irons and then point and shoot action in a defensive situation. Right, right. And those are all absolute uh, considerations. Everybody has to make a decision on, on, on sales. But mm -hmm. on the flip side, if you can shoot, you can shoot. <laughs> if you've got good mechanics. And uh, I mean, if you're at like uh, like uh, three yards or less. When I was teaching concealed carry class, I would I would I would demonstrate of course, I just had like a silhouette target and it wasn't even a silhouette. It was just a, a like a tombstone out of cardboard. And I would mm -hmm. staple a piece of like computer printer paper, white computer printer paper right in the middle, eight and a half by 11. OK. And I would I would demonstrate the drills I wanted my students to do at three yards and less with my staple gun. And I would say, y'all, if I can hit the target with the staple gun, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> y'all can hit this with the pistol. If I can put the staples in that piece of paper, y'all can probably do this with a pistol. And it would, yeah. and like to your point, it may not matter a whole lot what kind of sighting system you had at that mm -hmm. point. Mm. So yeah, I'm, I'm, I saw a lot of red dot out there. A lot. Which is, which is kind of confusing to me, but you know, however, whatever. Do you prefer old school or tactical look? Do, do you feel like when you buy your firearm or your pistol, you got to dress it up? You know, At the, again, that depends. Like I've got a, I've because I just I just like guns. So whenever whenever I get a black powder gun, I want it to look like the 1853. I've got a I've got like a a, a flintlock rifle that looks like it was made in 1759. I want it to look like that. Okay. And, but but if I if I'm doing something like I've got a 6.5 Creedmoor bolt gun uh, in a chassis system that I can put a suppressor on, that it's got uh, like a six to twenty five power vortex scope, mm. you know, and the little scope level and all the you know and the bipod and all that stuff. Mm -hmm. Yeah, 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 yeah. I appreciate both. I, I think, and this is probably gonna reveal something about me. I don't know. I think the old school look, guns just look more sexy. If that makes sense, I like the way they look. A lot of the, the new guns, new guns. Some of the things I don't think they're that attractive looking, but they sure are handy and useful. Is what I'll say. Interesting. So, are you a wheel gun guy? Oh heck yeah, I got revolvers. Yes, yes, I got okay. a I got a forty four mag, three fifty seven. I've got single action forty four special. Ooh. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Ooh -wee. that's yeah. good stuff. Now that's that's I love to look at the. The revolvers, the, the the old school revolvers, I love mm -hmm. them in the stainless finish, man. Oh it's yeah, just, it's just something about that that's just really mm -hmm. cool to me. But I'm not yes. a big revolver guy, like because I I bought the 500 just so that I can play jokes on my other friends. <laughs> like it, I had no yep. other purpose for it. Like I just I wanted that to let other people shoot it. Right, um, right. I, I did get the 44 because I found it on sale and I wanted to have one. So I made sure I had a 357, right. 44, and then the 500. Right. right. But I'm not a big time revolver guy, but I do see some revolvers that look amazing to me. Mm -hmm. Do you, have you ever been? A, have you ever uh, thought about concealing a revolver or carrying? I, I have carried a revolver before, like like 15 years ago. I was carrying a Colt Detective Special a whole lot. Mm. It was actually, Ooh. a six shot 38 Special. Uh, I, I bought from a, a gentleman who became a buddy of mine. Uh, it's called the Smith and Wesson Lady Smith. It's it's a 357, but it's a little smaller frame, a little easier to hold on to. It's got some pretty rosewood grips, stainless steel. I've carried that before concealed carry. It's a six shot 357 Magnum. Okay. And I've even got a. It started off as as my wife's carry piece, and then it became sort of my carry piece. We got a 38 Smith and Wesson Airweight, the uh, uh, okay. shrouded hammer. Interesting. So I I have carried revolvers plenty as concealed carry guns, but not in about. 12, 15 years, but I have. See, now this is going to sound weird to you, but I don't, I've never even thought about carrying a revolver. And I would probably, I would probably be scared. I don't know why. Don't ask me why. I don't know why I'd be scared. To I, was carry ask you, why scared? <laughs> I don't know, man. It just feels like 
I just don't like okay. that. Look, if I'm carrying my striker fire gun for whatever reason, right? And I'm hot. I got one one in the chamber, and I'm I'm I'm, I'm hot and ready. I don't feel as uncomfortable as I would with the revolver in my pocket because the revolver's always hot and ready. Right. right. I don't know why. Like I, I mean, I don't know. It's the same thing. Hey, Zach, stop laughing at me. It's the same thing, but it's, I feel weird. Like I don't know. I can't explain it. I just I don't know if I would feel comfortable with carrying a revolver. I love revolvers. I think they're great in the house. Right. You know, for I can have them set up in, in different rooms easy to grab i don't have to think too much you just pick it up and shoot but yeah there's no safety to mess with you just it's a i heard somebody once call it, it's the original point and click interface is what yeah. they call a revolver i yeah. agree with that i original agree with you talking, you're talking about carrying it with the hammer cock or just oh no no not with the hammer cock hell so, so, double know, action only double action? Double, double action you gotta double be action. double action but yeah. i just i still would feel weird have you ever carried a revolver or thought about it no i just my thing with the revolver is in the bullets that's weird. I felt about it. Oh, <laughs> interesting. Now, see, see, I know like old school guys. My my pops when he was living in my uncles, they mm -hmm. revolver. If I can't get them in six shots, I'm probably not gonna get them. Right. And then That's back the then, about the only semi-auto was a 1911. You only get seven shots with one of those. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so th th those are the guys that really knew how to shoot, huh? They had they had to know something. Maybe. 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 They didn't have the technology. <laughs> But if, if we could get in the Wayback Machine and, and show up with a Glock 17 and give right. it to them, I, they might pick that. Instead. Yeah, yeah, I, I would think so, right? Um, so what do you see in the retail space? Do you see more people adapting more to new school? Um, and when I say new school, I'm just talking about just the, the red dot technology. And um, I imagine so because we often have conversations on this channel about that budget versus right uh right you know more higher end stuff right and and to get a more reliable electronic red dot usually you wind up going a little higher end uh in the retail space well for example uh the, the numbers that have come out from the national shooting sports foundation ever since covid started there's mm -hmm. been probably by now about nine million new gun owners folks who Ooh. who had weren't normally viewed at as being gun owners but for all sorts of reasons started buying guns in about 2020 so we've got a whole bunch of folks brand new and now relatively new maybe about three years old but more and more every year who are now gun owners and lots of those people it's been my experience uh, if someone let's say i'm just going to create an imaginary customer let's say they're like 28 29 years old never owned a gun before they come in, maybe their only exposure to guns has been in a video game they played or something like that. Mm -hmm. uh, I mean, for them, a Glock is old school. <laughs> okay, Glock's yeah. older than yeah. they are, right? For sure. Right. So uh, a lot of, a lot of, I think the younger customers and the new customers, just because polymer frame striker fired pistols are just so good these days. Uh, what used to be everybody's first pistol, you know, Way back when I was a lot younger, might have been like a 357 Magnum revolver. Now it's probably going to be a double stack nine millimeter polymer pistol with striker mm -hmm. in it. Yeah. And they are just so good and so reliable. Mm -hmm. And the more people get into it, and the more, like you said, uh, folks interested in technology, uh, I'm trying to think of a brand new model of semi automatic pistol that comes out that's not cut for an optic or that does not have a light rail underneath i mean there's yeah. some out there but just anymore just about every single new semi-automatic pistol or fairly new one comes out it's either always with an optic cut or it comes with a model that's got that as an option absolutely mm -hmm. yep. you just brought you just brought up a question or not a question but something that we've discussed before this is something that zach says an awful lot too do you believe that with today's technology and how, how how advanced technology has gotten, and you just said it, like all these guns are so reliable. Is it? It's kind of hard to find guns that aren't reliable. With I find them every once in a while, <laughs> but you can't talk about them right now. Right, 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 right. <laughs> we don't right. want we don't want to throw anybody under the bus. But right. I mean. For the most part, I think the the, the, no, the vast majority of 
firearms are fairly reliable. Like I've been finding some. I just well, consider lower end brands. Right. I think we live in the that are running, man. We that live work. In the, golden, the golden age of firearms. It's just right. The, te the technology is such. A, it, it, I liken it to computers. Right. Like, that's right. how like, like that how it progresses. Yes, yes, it's just gotten so good. Okay, like you, I've, I've mentioned the word Glock a couple of times, so I'll go ahead and admit I'm a heretic. I don't actually own a Glock. The the Glocks I own are are were polymer 80s I put together my, myself before all the the federal uh, hoo ha about ghost guns and stuff came down. Uh -huh. yeah. So I've got I've got three of those that take Glock compatible parts, but they're all guns that I just wanted to see if I could make a gun run, you know, build one from a from a piece of plastic and make it run. But it's it's with with that design, it is so easy. Once you learn a few things, it's so easy to swap a slide or change a trigger or or to do this little thing or that little thing to make it run slicker. And it's just a lot of fun, too, I think, just to, to be right. able to work up your own gun. Yes, sir. I own one Glock, sir. That's it. You, one Glock. I, I'm not a Glock guy. Not at all. This guy. Okay. He's, so so he's, if you're not a Glock guy, what are you? Mechanic, what are you? Man. I'm going to tell you right I'm, now. I'm a mechanic. Oh yeah, yeah. Well, that's an old Walther design. That's a Turkish copy of the Walther uh -huh. 99. Hell yeah. And they run. <laughs> yes, they do. RGG, yeah. what are you? What what do you like? So I'm not a I'm not a I'm not a brand baby. Right. <laughs> but um, I mean, I, I just I like I seem to like more of the full size softer shooting guns. Maybe the mm -hmm. the 2011 style seems to oh, be my thing. Oh yeah. Or, or like the. The SIG, the X5 series. I like right. those type of firearms. I, right. Because I keep buying those types. So apparently that's what I like. Right. And that's uh, another thing that happens in the real, that's really happened this year, especially with all the companies that came out with their version of the 2011. Uh, you get double stack capacity, nine millimeter, and then you get that 1911 trigger. Yes. Oh, oh yeah. Let me beat that. I will turn you on to this new gun, Stealth Arms Platypus, man. The yeah. I've, I've heard about that, but I've not put my hands on one yet. Oh man, you need to. <laughs> you need to. I, I changed I, my I, world. I've been one of the first guys to really, really, really co-sign this gun and get behind it. I've had mine now for a couple weeks. I've been running the hell out of it. I'm well over two thousand rounds in this thing, and I'm running every different type of ammo. You know, it takes Glock mags. Cool. Um, you you know, and and on their website, you can go and fully fully customize the gun to your liking. And you know it comes in the commander and government version right now, mm -hmm. and I'm telling you, man, this thing is is something else. It's special. So, uh oh, somebody's at my door. Wait a minute, guys. <laughs> got that's the ring camera. Yeah, that's, that's pizza. That is pizza, actually. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't supposed to say that, but it is. Hold on, I'm gonna put you guys on hold. Zach, oh, you gotta go let the pizza in, dude. I'll be you right can, back. You gotta go let the pizza in. What up, Armel? Yeah, I just I never I never I own I had a Glock 17. Everybody was Glock 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 Glock. Right, right, right. I bought the Glock. I shot it. I didn't like it. I traded it to a guy for a 308 rifle. That's a good trade. After yeah. that, because I was doing uh, steel challenge and stuff, I got this magazine that said, "Ooh, the Glock killer." And on the front of that magazine, it was a TP9 V2. It was a Canik TP9 V2. Cool. Yep. So yep. I said, so I said, let me go buy this gun. That's it's different because it's got a single action, double action trigger. Mm -hmm. So I can shoot it double action, and it'll go to and it'll go to single. Or I can move the trigger and put it in single action and carry it that way. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. from that point, I started buying. I've been buying Canic, man. I am the self proclaimed Canic King. I own thirteen. The Canic King. Oh heck yeah, yeah dude. Heck I yeah. love. It. Yeah. My 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 headset's blinking red. I got to hook it back up here. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It's not. Charged. Oh, that's all right. That's all right. Roy will be back, yo. He had to uh, charge up the headset a little bit. He's running low. Hey, shot shooter. What's going on out there? Anybody else that got missed? What's up, y'all? The alert zone. What up? I didn't say what's up to you. I saw you come in, man, but they were talking, so I didn't want to interrupt. Let's see who else is out there. Charles Henry Honcho. What's good, bro? Armel, what's up? Big Zo, what up, man? I saw you come in. I was trying not to interrupt. Where is so right now? We need uh five on the fly. So hold on a second. Let me let me make a text message real quick. I hope everybody had a good day. Uh 
I'm good. I'm good. How long have I been going? What do you mean? How long have I been going? What you mean? <laughs> oh man, <laughs> Roy had to let us. No, had no to... fat jokes, man. Whatever, whatever happens from this point forward. You sitting there with pizza? <laughs> no fat jokes, all right? Oh man. Oh, what kind of pizza? What kind of pizza? Sausage pizza, man. Oh hell yeah! You know, Chicago has the best pizza, Roy. Oh boy. I, I, I just want to tell you that. I actually, my family, we we spent spring break last year in Chicago. Uh, took my kids and my wife to the, the art institute, went to the aquarium, and went to the field, uh, whatever the uh, field science museum. and technology, science oh, and technology okay. museum. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And then we had uh, Giordano's. We had to get Giordano's, and then there's another one that starts with an M. I don't remember. Everybody said we well, should have gotten instead. Yeah, yeah. Well, next time you're in Chicago, give me a call. Okay, I'll get you the right pizza. All right, give me the right pizza. Called Giordano's tourist pizza. And, right. Well, Chicago. I was a tourist, dude. I was a tourist. Yeah, it's tourist pizza. I have to yeah. get you the, you know. Give me the real pizza. pizza. Yeah, yeah, there yeah. You go. Chicago doesn't have the best pizza, man. Uh-oh. Oh, here we go. New, here we go. New York has the best it's pizza. The New York pizza. He, he can talk that all he wants. He can talk that all he wants. New York has the best pizza. Right. You know what? He, I got to tell you this, though, Zach. Hmm. Roy is in the Midwest now. Oh, so am I. For a long time. Yeah, but he's like a real Midwesterner. Like you... You're a New Yorker that that's not really a Midwest. Oh, he's, so Zach's in Ohio now. He's from New I'm York. I'm New Yorker tonight. So it depends on who he's talking to. That's when he claims New York. Yeah, and then when depending, <laughs> on, the, depending on the topic. Right, yeah. right, right. Pizza. The Yankees are doing good. Right? Now he's all New York. Now right? He's all New York. So I can't. I can't be a New Yorker anymore. He's, he's New no, York. He's what are you gonna do? You know. <laughs> Forget about it. What are you gonna know? do? Forget about it. Right, New York. I sound real Boston right now. <laughs> but no, uh, Big Zoe, what's up? Whoever came in the chat, I didn't get a chance to speak to. How you guys doing tonight? I appreciate y'all. All right. So if you're just coming in, we got Mr. Roy Hill on. He's from Brownells, and and he's a gun guy. So we're having a good conversation about old school. Everything. And new school. Yeah. Now, I, my, my headset keeps trying to die, and every once in a while I have to hook it up here. Uh, is, is it okay if I handle an, a, a rifle upper and that's not a complete gun, or is that forbidden? You can do the rifle upper. Okay. All right. Because we keep talking about old school and new school. All right. This is the BRN 180, mm -hmm. and this is like a combo of old school and new school. This is an upper that, that's exclusive to Brownells. It's Brownells branded. It's old school in that – have you ever heard of like the AR-18 or the AR-180? Mm -hmm. yeah, I have it. It was old. It's not quite as old as AR-15. It was like the next generation. But the recoil mechanism is all in the upper, so you don't need a buffer tube. So you can put it on something with a folding stock. So that's the old school part. But the new school part is ours has a Picatinny rail. Of course, the original didn't have that. And hmm. this particular model has an adjustable gas system right here, that little slot that you can turn the gas system all the way off if you want to shoot it with a suppressor and then use it as a straight pull bolt action. It'll cock yep. itself when you pull it. Wow. So, it, so it's super, super quiet, or you can turn it again and shoot it semi-automatic with the suppressor. Or if you take suppressor off, you just turn it to the third setting and then it'll run as, as a complete semi-automatic. But let me pop the back end out here. Okay. There we go. Now, this is good. And it's got this, yeah. uh, it's got this double rod with double spring recoil mechanism. Well, the spring's about to come off there. There we go. And that's that's what operates the uh, the upper. So you don't have to have a buffer tube like an AR-15. So you can put it on a lower with a with a folding stock and 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 not worry about it. You'll, you'll shoot folded. So this is like a combo. It's an old idea. It's an old design, the AR-180. Mm -hmm. But this is the modern Brownells updated for use with the. Uh, Optics and and whatnot and suppressors. So it's like a, a combo gas system, traditional blowback sort of thing. So well, it's 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 a it's a it's a piston. It's a piston. It's a gas piston, okay. uh, kind of like uh, an AK forty seven mm -hmm. or an HK four sixteen that operate on a piston instead of just the uh, direct impingement with the gas yeah. coming back. But yeah, okay. it it's got a piston system in there, and you can take the whole thing. You can take these uh, this screw out right here. Let me hold it up right there, and mm -hmm. then slide the hand guard off and get to the piston and clean it. But it's it's kind of an interesting combination of both old and new, like we've been talking about. So this is an example, a physical example of get both. Hmm. Right. Now, <laughs> now, 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 what is that called again? BRN 180. The BRN for Brownells. 
And the 180 in honor of the AR-180 or the, the military version was called the AR-18. Now, excuse my, you know, ignorance sometimes. Oh. Because I just don't know. But so with that upper. Yeah. What And what is that chambered in? Uh, this one's in 300 blackout. It's a little shorty. Okay. We have them in 300 blackout and uh, basically 5.56. Five, and we even got one out this year in 7.62 by 3.9. Now, now, you can put it on any lower? You can that's put it what on I was going to ask. It'll fit any standard AR-15 lower. We also have a BRN-180 lower that's sitting right over here that I'm not going to pick up because I don't want to get you all in trouble with YouTube. Okay. But if you look on brownells.com for the BRN-180 lower, it has Picatinny rail on the back where the buffer tube usually goes on an AR-15. Because again, with this, this you don't need a buffer tube. It's the, all the recoil stuff's in the upper and you can just... Run it with no stock or put a any like a SIG MCX or something like that. Any stock that fits on a Picatinny rail, you can just put it on there. So that charging handle reciprocates? Uh, yes, yes. The charging handle reciprocates. And we got different models. With the old school model, the charging handle sticks up like this. Mm -hmm. And there's one we call the Sport that's got a little nubby charging handle that's designed to clear optics. It won't interfere with optics. Okay. And this one, since this one, you could turn the gas system all the way off. We got it turned down. Let me put it right here. So you can work it like this okay. as, a, as a single shot straight pull. So it'll pop right back in. But you can loosen this charging handle and turn it so it sticks up if you don't want to run it that way. So it's, okay. it's completely adjustable. Yep. What? Interesting. What's, what's something like that retail for? Uh, the, this is a brand new. And because it's set up for suppressor, this is like 999 bucks. And then the others... We're a little bit cheaper, and I think some of them are on sale for like seven something right now on the website. But I have to check the, the Brown Elves website. That's the serialized part. No, this is the not serialized part. Yeah. That's yeah. just yeah. the upper. Okay, because the lower is the serialized part. The Go serialized, ahead. right? But it'll fit any standard. You got the lugs here. It'll fit on any standard AR-15 lower, or if you want to use uh, our BRN-180 lower with the Picatinny rail on the back, it'll fit on one of those two. Is that a flat shooter? Yes. Hmm. <laughs> And uh, the gas, because it's got a piston and the two recoil springs and the two recoil rods, it's a very smooth shooter, too. Hmm. See, that yeah. sounds interesting to me, man. Yeah, well, that I'm, not, I'm not a big time rifle guy, but I like that. See, that sounds interesting. It is cool. Yeah, nice AR to have. <laughs> yes, yes. I've, I've got a couple of them, I, and I like them a lot. Uh, I've even, you know, the Fight Light pistol lower? Okay. I've even, I've got one you can find on my Instagram. I call it my pirate pistol. I got a 300 blackout and a pistol lower. So <laughs> I need my big Jolly Roger flag, you know, and dye my beard black and, you know, put some can of views in it. <laughs> oh, heck yeah. That might be, that might be something, uh, you'd be, you'd be hearing from me about. I might, okay. I might have to look into one of those. That, that, oh, is, that yeah. is, that is interesting. See, Thank I you. like when stuff sparks my interest and that just sparked my interest. And right. all of them, all of them have the adjustable gas block. Uh, the new ones, the Gen 2 and laters, yes. On the Gen 1s, and those will eventually be, be selling out. On the Gen 1s, only the shorty version had the adjustable gas block. But one of the improvements in the Gen 2 is they all have adjustable. Now, the, the, the SH, the SH, which is this one for shh, is the only one that has <laughs> the gas system you can turn all the way off. The okay. others, they have a suppressed and an unsuppressed setting. But this one deliberately has the you can turn it all the way off setting so you can get i mean you have it turned all the way off and shoot it you don't get any sound of the action slapping back and forth you don't get any gas escaping from the port it's just stupid quiet with a suppressor and subsonic ammo it's really cool that'd be real quiet mm. that'd be just the thing for for like here in iowa hunting coyotes at night with mm -hmm. and, yeah. and not annoying any of your neighbors yeah yeah, yeah, definitely. How yeah. how far how far is uh how far are you guys from Chicago? I want to ride up there one day. We're like four hours. Hmm, that's not bad. Yeah, depending on traffic, four and a half. I mean, you get on you get on I eighty and go west, and you'll hit Grinnell. Hmm. Yeah. Okay. And Bro, you, you you've been in this for quite a while now in terms of seeing accessories and things like that. How much stuff do you see that's like just like a reinvention of the wheel, so to speak? Great. A whole lot of it is. I mean, I mean, it's just the nature of of, of gun stuff you're talking about. Like, um, uh, I mean, an example. I mean, the first semi-automatic nine millimeter pistol is like 
1890 something, right? And then the the Luger is the model 1908, nine millimeter Parabellum has been around. So more than a hundred years on that. Uh, there's all sorts of, of accessories and stuff uh, like um, stocks for pistols or we call it, or, or sort of braces. I mean, there were, you can find examples of like flintlock pistols with stocks on them from like 1650 or whatever. What? Yo, what? heck yeah. Yeah. In, in fact, at the, in the, in the art Institute, uh, museum there in Chicago. They've got a great arms room, uh, like really old. I mean, stuff 500 years old in some cases. Uh, wheel lock pistols and flint lock pistols. Uh, and I just go in there and say, oh, hey, yeah, that looks like that thing this company came out with last year. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 1628 or whatever. Oh, yeah, I know what that is. No, I believe that. But see, see, that is interesting. So when, when you start hearing, um, what's that gun that you always talked about, Zach, that which one? Uh, was it the high power or something? Yeah, the FN, the high power. The, oh, yeah. yeah. So that, that's the one that they, they've reinvented a few times. I oh, see. Yeah. 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 Springfield has one. Brown has started making another one yep. again. Yep. Rasan makes one now. <laughs> and they, they feel so good. In my hand, <laughs> you know, you know, does right. I didn't like the I didn't like the trigger. You didn't it's like the trigger? Yeah, it's sometimes the trigger's a little gritty. Hey, I, Roy, that's a that's a that's a good sound bite that you just did right there. They feel so good, yeah, that's I, like that. Right All right, and I they always bite me right there. The ones that have the hammers, uh -huh. I, I got kind of fat hands, and I always get bit right there by high powers. I, I, I have that same plate, sir. I understand. I, <laughs> I, I love them, but they don't love me back. Mm -hmm. <laughs> So, so I got something I need to do here, Roy. It's going to be a little bit of a surprise to you, maybe. Uh oh, but it's going to be fun though. Okay, oh, hey, hit me. All right, it's this I'm... thing that we do. Okay, for every guest we bring on, it's called Five on the Fly. Okay, and basically, usually I don't warn people, but I'm going to warn you just because because <laughs> you're a nice guy. Not that uh -oh. the other people weren't nice. Either way, this is where I'm going to have a friend of mine. He's going to come in. And he's going to ask you some five random questions. There's okay. no right or wrong answer. He'll explain it all. But Hit all right, so, so you got to get ready for it. Ladies ready. and gentlemen, Let's welcome to Five on the Fly, where we ask our guests five random questions with no right answer. So sit back and let's have some fun. Yo, 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 Billy. Hey, what's up, well, man? gentlemen, well, gentlemen, well, gentlemen. How's everything going? Good, hey. good. How are Rock you, sir? Roll. Very good, very good. Mr. Roy, nice to see you. My name is Billy. Nice to eat. electronically meet you, Billy. Yes. Yes. In the flesh. <laughs> My fly family. That's My fly channel. family. So this is five on the fly, and I'm going to ask you five questions, and there's no right answer. There's no wrong answer. Just your answer. Okay. And let's do the best we can, all right? Here we go. Number one. <laughs> I can't wait. Chevy or Ford? Say again? Chevy or Ford? Come on, Roy. Toyota. Ooh. Wow, it's a Toyota. Whoa. That's all right. Way to pick an answer that wasn't even in the You're Toyota. welcome. You said no right. You said no wrong answer. You said no You're wrong right. answer. We did You're say right. that. We did say that. He followed the rules. <laughs> all right. This one is gone fishing or gone bowling? Gone fishing. Mm. I've I've been fishing since I've been shooting guns since I was eight years old. I've been fishing since I was four. Mm. I I've, I've been yeah. bowling less than ten times my entire life. Wow! I would have chose fishing too. I like fishing. Yeah, I, I would chose. Fishing. I would it's hard. Chose it's hard to fry and eat bowling good. balls. They don't fry up real good. I've been bowling since <laughs> I was, I've been bowling since I was five years old, man. Right. Right. Well, there's probably more bowling alleys and places to fish where you grew up. There was. Yeah, there was there, the, the nearest bowling alley where, where I live was like a 30 minute drive. Oh, yeah. Ooh, the one, was, the mine, was, mine was five minutes. The nearest bowling alley was five minutes away. Yeah. Fishing, we got good answers. Good answer. All right. This is going to be a tough one. Uh -oh. Sweet potato pie or pumpkin pie? Sweet potato pie. Mm. Yes. That's the Arkansas in him. That mm -hmm. is the Arkansas. That's the Arkansas right. in him. If he, if he was speaking Iowan, he would have said pumpkin. It might have been, might have been or, pumpkin. Or, or said tenderloin or something like that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All, right. All right. Mosin Nagant or SKS? Oh. Yes. Mm -hmm. mm. Both. We said both. I, I have both. 
Yes. Promise, bro. I want to make you choose. Yes. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. Okay, okay, okay. I'm going to pick one. I'm going to pick one. Mosin Nagant, but the Finnish M39 version of the Mosin Nagant. There all it right. Is. Yes. Mm -hmm. Mosin. Mosin. Good one. Good one. Mosin. Hmm. All right. Is a hot dog a sandwich? <laughs> it depends. If it's just your, your regular hot dog, if it's just your regular hot dog, piece of meat on a bun with mustard, I'm going to say that's not a sandwich. But if you start, you know, someplace I've been to, you start putting like a whole salad and, and like, <laughs> Like a piece of sushi and all this other stuff on top of it, so it's it, then you're getting into sandwich territory. But I'm gonna say regular hot dog, not. But if you really, really dress it up and put all sorts of other freaky stuff on it, then yes. He, he gave the most complicated he, answer. Been the, the best five you're welcome, my guy. Yet yes, because I like it, Roy. I'm, 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 I'm. I don't listen. Any other people that's watching that may be a guest in the future, do not steal his method. You got it. Like it. You got it. All right, Billy, go ahead. Roy is the most neutral. Well, yeah. that's it for my questions. The last question that we are going to ask comes from RGG himself, and this this question is is a make or break. For okay. Everybody. And 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 I know it's going to be good. From it's got to be. Guy. All right, let's see. So Wait, so here we go. Mm. Roy, you you eat grits? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> what do you put on your grits? Salt and butter. There it is. There it is, ladies and gentlemen. That's right. Salt and butter. I thought I, I had you, Roy. From a down home fella himself. I was a little scared because Skilly from Arkansas, too. That's what I wanted <laughs> to Skilly, say. Skilly, not a real Arkansas guy. Skilly is a Detroit guy. Now. A Detroit guy. Okay. Yeah. So it's, so, so it's, I don't even want to talk about it, but people do weird stuff with grits. Yeah. And it's not even worth the conversation, but thank God you know how to do it. Big Zoe out there said, damn it. <laughs> oh, man, this chat is so mixed up. You believe some people put sugar on their grits, Roy? Yeah, I've seen people do stuff like put pancake syrup on their grits. Yeah. Or brown yes, sugar and cinnamon. I'm going. Yes. That's for farina or cream of wheat. Dang. Right. That is for malto grits. meal. That's malto yeah, meal. malto meal. There you go. Now that okay, now I'm country enough. We we would do grits and gravy sometimes. Oh yeah, no, that's okay though. Oh yeah, get away with that. Yeah, see, see Roy, that? my my thing is, it matters on what time of day you're eating it. I I, I prefer sweet in the morning, and then mm -hmm. all the uh, savory style for dinner. That makes sense. That makes sense. Yes. Right, right. Yes. Don't don't but yeah. Do it. Don't do it. Don't, don't co-sign the Roy. Don't please. please. He should not be putting but butter and salt. Butter, butter and salt is the way I go. Or gravy, but that's just like salty. Salty, uh, salty, Cabo, uh, say Roy, yeah, butter yeah. And possum juice on his grits, yeah, possum juice on his grits, yeah, <laughs> yeah, it's, it's a possum I ran over on the way home, too. Oh, man. So, man. Threw me in the back of my, my Toyota Tundra, right? <laughs> threw me in the back of my Toyota Tundra, took him it's home. It's fresh, hey man, mm, Cabo, just cool. like mama used to make. Right. Of course, shrimp oh, and grits, man. Big Zoe. Shrimp and grits. Oh, is great. shrimp and grits. Oh, dude. That's a yeah. That's a South Carolina thing. That's awesome. Hell yes. yeah. Hell There's yeah. No sugar. So, all right. Back to the live. Back to the live, man. That was good. That was a good five on the fly, man. Roy, you did amazing. Thank you, thank oh, thank you, you sir. Thank, that was fun. I, I'll do a five on five. Any? Oh, is this a one time thing? No, you're always welcome okay. back, man. Okay, we so, do so I'll, I'll do a five on five anytime. This is fun. This is fun. Oh, you got you got to come back on one of our trivia nights. Oh yeah. hell yeah! Yeah, Let's Billy's like the best in the world of these trivia yep. questions. He's like thank you, great thank movie you. questions, and so we'd be having a lot of fun with that type of stuff too. So. Cool. Yes, cool. sir. So, Billy, how's your day, man? Wonderful. Not bad. Good day at work. Not as easy as your day at all. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. My day yeah. wasn't easy, man. I had to shoot against some uh, pretty talented people. True. I rather have been doing what you tell the story in the video. We'll tell the story in the video. Right. So, now, Billy, well, I got you here. Yes, sir. It's a nice live innovation, old school, or versus a uh, 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 tradition. Where do you sit? Oh, all right. I'm not against, but I do have a preference. And I am an old school, 1911, basic design kind of guy. I'm, I'm noticing that old school design on your baseball hat right now, too. <laughs> <laughs> this is actually a fat guy with guns uh, cap. Okay. 
I'll have to check out Fat Guy with Guns. But yes, you say Automat Kalashnikov. Da, rifle is fine. Something like that. Yes. yes. AK 47. <laughs> Hell yeah. All, All the way. way. Hell yeah. So, so, so tell me, man. You like the 1911. That's your thing. And I know we always, we bug Billy sometimes. Like, man, dude, you got to get a red dot. He's like, man, I got like one red dot and I switch it between guns or whatever. Right. So, okay. you know, why is it so difficult for you to embrace? Are you just kind of stuck in your way or? Well, here's the thing. My, my favorite pistol is not often offered with a red dot option, you know? So as the red dot industry is, is evolving, to me, it's like a cell phone. Cell phones wanted to be the smallest cell phone. Then they wanted to be the biggest cell phone. Mm -hmm. And they wanted to be back small again, then back big again. And before you know it, you know, we got the mailboxes on top of the guns and I just don't know what direction <laughs> it is. So, Mailbox. Yeah. Right. Right. And now they got those, those cell phones you can fold, right? Oh, that's, yeah. that's the new hotness. The, right. The right. double cell phone tablet things. Right. Which look cool. Yeah. But um, with, with the, the red dot industry, um, it seems like as soon as you think you got the hot stuff, it's last year. Yeah. You know, iron sights can just always be iron sights. That was deep, Billy. That was real deep. Thank you. Thank you. So, so Roy, let me ask you this from a retail space. Yeah. In terms of what you've seen since, let's just go from SHOT Show this year. Okay. Have you seen anything that's been like a standout firearm or product? Could be a red dot. Could be whatever. Right. Like, has it been something that's just like on fire? Well, are we talking about industry, or are you talking about just my personal choice? Industry, industry, and probably industry. Right now, it's it's going to be because is there four or five different companies that come out with twenty elevens? Yeah, yeah, and then even there's that CZ DGW or whatever that's D -D -W sort of DWX. DWX DWX. Okay, yeah, yeah. Sorry, I haven't haven't shot one yet. So that's 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 sorta, but not really. But it's it's got some of the same features. Yeah. Uh, that seems to be because so there's that that famous company Staccato that everybody says, oh my gosh, yeah, uh, we we need to catch on with with that somehow. And so, so it seems like a whole lot of companies are coming out with 2011s, which which I think is a cool thing. I, I don't own one yet. I've shot several of them and I have liked all of them, but that that seems to be one of the the new hotness things. And uh, for me personally. Um, the the resurgence of the 10 millimeter. And mm -hmm. like I said, I, I've shot it for the first time. I'm, I can't pick it up because we're on live here, but I've got my FN 510, my, my FN 10 millimeter. I was going to get a Springfield, I mean, excuse me, excuse me, a Smith & Wesson, a Smith & Wesson m and in 10 millimeter. Mm -hmm. and, and then I noticed the, uh, the 510 in the retail store and one of them has a 22 round magazine that goes yes. with it. And I went... Mm -hmm. I could save a few bucks and go with this one, or I could spend a few more bucks and, and go with this other one that's already got suppressor height sights and cut for red dots, got the rail, and it's got a 22 round magazine. Yeah. And so I I just I I saved up you know my lunch money for another month or two and 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 kind of went oh I just, <laughs> okay okay but I got it done and I'm glad I got it done. Now, so uh, 2011s and the comeback of the 10 millimeter. I mean even good lord high power high point came out with a high, with a 10 millimeter right yeah yeah yes, i mean high point came out with a 10 millimeter and you i didn't I've, have to say that twice right uh, yeah he felt the need to say it <laughs> ain't nothing wrong but, with a high point 10 millimeter it there's nothing wrong but i mean high point came out with a 10 millimeter right? <laughs> if high point has a 10 millimeter everybody's got a 10 because there's a springfield 10 millimeter now and a smith and an mm -hmm. fn and a high point and all the 1911 variants glocks had one for years um, yep. I mean, I bet Walther is going to come out with one soon. I, I mean, I don't know for sure, but I'm just guessing. Mm -hmm. yeah. But, but yeah, I, the resurgence of the 10 millimeter is something I'm kind of excited about too. Interesting. 10 millimeter is my favorite round, by the way. Oh yeah. So now that new, that FN, is that the, is kind of their upgraded version to the FNX 45? Uh, yeah. Yeah. More or less. And a man, I wish I could. Is it, is I think the headset went out. Yeah. He can't hear us. 
He's talking good, though. All the important he stuff. Can't, he, can't, right he, can't, he can't hear us. He said a lot of cool stuff, too. You got to charge it up. Let him go charge that up. That Man, that 510 make me feel like my, my FNX 45 is outdated. Anybody want to buy an FNX 45? <laughs> man, that thing's 22 rounds, man. I like it. Of 10 millimeters. That's I think amazing. I need that 510 now. That's I like impressive. It. I mean, if I go buy a 510 now, I know two people that yell at me. What's, yeah. Uh, yeah. I'm, not, I'm gonna let you do it. You gonna let me do it? Yep. If, if I do it, you ain't gonna say nothing. I'm, I'm not back. You with it. Okay. You're back now. Okay. You said a lot of good stuff that we didn't hear. Oh, yeah, yeah. I was I was just talking about uh, the, the features, the FN. It's got the ambidextrous magazine release that you don't have to adjust. It, it already works. It's got extended muzzle with, with threads on it, suppressor height sights. It's just got a whole lot of really cool features that folks are looking for, and mm. it's in 10 millimeter. So, heck yeah. Hmm. Mm. Interesting. Well, I guess it can't replace the FNX 45 because it's in 10 mil. That was a weird question. How's the, how's the trigger on it, Roy? Pretty good. I mean, it's it's a, it's a double stack polymer gun trigger, but I mean, it's pretty good. Okay. Mm -hmm. I fired mm. it for the first time this morning, maybe, maybe 15, 20 rounds. Mm. Interesting. So, so I, I've seen it because it already comes with the uh, like the extended mags that fits plush, so it looks good. Right. Um, is can I show a mag? Is that is that legal? Go for it, man. Yeah, here's the 22 rounder. Oh, look yeah, at that. Okay. Metal mag. So, so when it goes in the pistol, it's it sticks out that far. Flush and nice. Yeah. So you got the black one. Oh, well, that's that's just the one that came with it. That's just yeah. the one that came with the pistol. Look like the stolen mags, really. Yep. Nice, uh, man. I like that. I like that a lot. So, so with it being the year of the 2011, well, um, let's take Staccato out of the game right now because they kind of they kind of run the game in that department right. right now. Right. What have you What have you seen that's been pretty impressive? Uh, there was, uh, of course, I got to shoot the Springfield, and then there's what's the company that has the one called the Pantera? Yeah, you just you just Pantera? introduced me to a new one. Yeah, yeah. Pantera. I'm the look Pantera at it. or the Panther. It's mm. it's like it's like made in the Philippines. Mm. Oh. So it's it's a little bit lower in price. Let me find it here. Let's see if I can find. It. I got to shoot it at a range day we had at Brownells. But by, by TriStar. Yeah, TriStar. TriStar. Tri Get out of here. SPS Pantera. SPS Pantera. SPS Pantera, right, right, right. I shot that one. It's it's eighteen rounds. Uh, we had uh, we had a range day for media at Brown. Oh. Damn it! Every time he starts saying something good, <laughs> yo, you gotta check out try the, the SPS good. Pantera, but it's twenty eleven by Tristar. Yo, Tristar. How, how it looked is like a, a old uh, Spanish company. Nah, Tristar is, is is a Turkish shotgun company. Oh, that's them the same people that make the shotguns? Yeah. I'm trying to find it right now because it took me right to their website. I'm trying to find a good picture of it. Give me a mm, second. Interesting. They got them for sale. I here. know, I know, I know. Uh, still don't hear you. No, I think that thing then died completely on him. <laughs> See that? Yeah, that don't look bad. How long is that barrel? It looked like a six-inch barrel. It looks yeah, it does look really long. I know Billy don't like it because it got big pin SPS on the side. I saw that. I saw that. They got what? SPS along the side. The branding on it. The branding. He don't like that. What do they say? MSRP. Five-inch barrel. 18 rounds. Mm. <laughs> and I'm on Gunbroker right now as well. I was able to find it. Gunbroker has it for thirteen fifty. If you can hear us, Roy, just let it charge for a little bit, man. You good? We good? We here for a little while longer. Yeah, thirteen forty nine. I'm looking into this. So maybe okay. He said they got the new forty five. Maybe that's the one they got to take the place of the F and X forty five. Check this out. This is it in uh. Mm. Stainless steel. Oh, that's not bad. Looking. What's the MSRP? This right here. Still is can't hear you. 
This is a farmer's site. Just let it let it charge for a little bit. It looks like it's a uh, 1350. Hmm, 1350? Mm-hmm. Okay, okay. That's yeah. I never heard of that one. Because yeah. I, I want to hear I want to hear about some more. Now see, I like getting information like that. I did not know about this. What they what they ever shot show? I don't remember seeing. I don't, I don't even remember hearing about that. Yeah. I don't dope though. Cheap competition 2011. This is this is a video from September of 2020. Oh, <laughs> oh, 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 oh. You see that? Really like no, no, I'm seeing something else. So oh. what they got? Yep. What they got? Let's see if I can get a good picture of it. Canica say it's 2210 on the site. We ain't paying no 2200 for it. For a tri star? I found it for cheaper than that. Shit, they got a $3,000 joint. Damn, they were selling it on, on PSA. Oh, man. I, I got to cut one of these lights. Is that a race gun? Yep. Can y'all see it good or no? Can't see it good, but I can see the, 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 the gist of it. There you go. That's better. Oh, yeah. That's interesting. Yeah. They got these for sale on, on PSA. It's crazy. <laughs> uh, they got them on PSA? Yeah, I've never. They don't have it. It's out of stock. But yeah, because I've, yeah, I've never I've never seen this gun before. I was about to say that. Uh, there's so many guns that be just like that DWX. You can find that everywhere out of stock. Mm. Yeah, I've never seen it. Well, okay. So I'm seeing it as 2300 Pretty much the the black chrome joint. The black. I the, so I saw the black one on Gumbro for thirteen fifty. I you know what? And as much as we all talk about this stuff, I'm talking about like including the chat and all of us. I've never heard nobody mention that. Me either. I've, I've never heard anybody mention it anywhere. Mm -hmm. That's the chrome one, the chrome one is at like eighteen fifty. Mm. That's on Gunbroker. See for seventeen hundred, sixteen fifty one for the black one. Or blue, I guess I should say 1731 for the chrome one. Yeah, they it definitely ain't two grand. Roblox. Let me ask you a question. Yeah, Roblox. I know, I, know I messed that up. But there's a there's a Spanish company that makes uh 1911s and they used to they had it for their military and their police officers. What's it called? Star Star. Mm. Anybody in chat know that <clears throat> company from Spain? I could have swore that they made like they had like a bunch of surplus guns running around. Star firearms. Oh, let me look. Now there is a star dash firearms.com. And they do well uh nah. it is it looks like it is a Spanish company. Yeah. That's probably what I thought it was. Yeah. Do you see? It? They look like old military 1911s. Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> oh. Big Honcho said, "I get me a 2011 one day." The way my account's set up right now. <laughs> yeah. Nice. The least, the 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 least expensive 2011 style gun you can get in the game with right now. Would have to be if you could find it the Rock Island. Yep. Yeah. It is. Yeah, right. Nobody, nobody seems to. That's the, that's the least expensive. Wait, well, well, I guess if you mean a double stack 1911. Double stack. Yeah, double stack 1911 would be Rock Island. Man. Well, mm -hmm. I always say 2011. That's what a double stack. A 2011 is a double stack 1911. I mean, technically, no. It depends on the platform. <laughs> you got the flex, you got a you got a true twenty eleven platform, and then you got a para platform. They're different. I don't hear para. If you want to be technical, because that's the because that's the platform that a night that a Rock Island is. Rock Island is is a is on a para platform. I would be technical. When they started <laughs> saying twenty eleven, that was the double stack nineteen eleven. Yeah, Roy, are you back? 
Still can't hear you. Turn them on. Turn it on. We got to be charged now. Hmm. I think you broke it. <laughs> he said he think you broke it. <laughs> he said he might have broke it. <laughs> oh, man. This is good, too. He tells us about a new gun and then break his headset. <laughs> I see the light. Can you use the mic on the computer? Yeah, the light came on. You got to reconnect the Bluetooth, probably. Yeah, Platypus is, you ask me, it's 2011. I don't care what nobody says. Yeah. If it's double stacked 1911, 2011, they just can't use the name. That's why people start saying, so what's a 2311? What platform is that? Just a way around saying 2011. 2011. That's it. But the, 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 only, the only reason I say it because I understand what you're saying. There are actual differences in the firearms. Really know that in, in the platform, the way it's set up, one has a has a solid frame, and the other one has oh, three parts to the frame. Yeah. Am yeah. I back yet? There you go. Okay. Yeah. okay. Woo! All right, it worked. So I'll ask yeah. you. I don't know if you heard a lot of this argument that we're having right now. It's really getting heated. Um 2011. We use the term right because in my mind, 2011 is just a double stack 1911. Right, right. That's what a lot of people consider it, right? So, and then Zach's arguing, like, no, it's not the same thing. A 2011 is this. <laughs> and the double stack 1911 is that. So, you know, I'm I'm thinking that most, because people are coming out with these 2311s and right, and we just, right. that's just the way to get around a name because Staccato right. owns 2011, so you can't use it. Right, so you can't use it. But it's, it's getting to be like one of those terms, like the word Kleenex used to be a brand name, and now it's just what folks call what you wipe your nose with right exactly yeah thank you you. and lots lots of different companies use that but yeah uh and then i guess that may show how successful staccato was with their 2011 Mm -hmm. if if it just becomes a term uh that that folks use yeah Yeah. roy i was was just being technical okay because Ah. we were talking about the rock island double stack 1911s okay so it's built on a para platform it's not right. built in a true 2011 platform. Now, right. I'm just being technical. That's all. Okay, cool, cool. Yep, yep. And, and part of me, while, boring. It's boring. while my while my uh my 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 headset was charging up, I had to take uh take hey. the butts outside. This is Rocky. Rocky. Hey. Yeah, this hey. is Rocky. Rocky's probably like 15 years old. I don't know. Nobody knows Whoa. how old Rocky is. So Rocky <laughs> is, is, is very, very old and slow, and got to be careful with Rocky. But this is Rocky, and he's here at my feet, and he's not going to leave me alone. So he there he is. Goes out. <laughs> oh, Harry's back. He's back. He said, "Oh, please." Back. So, oh. so, so I was just, I was saying that you know, because it was a, one of the guys out here in the chat said that you know, one day he'll get a 2011, and I was saying like the the least expensive 2011 or or style gun that you style. can get to would be a Rock Island if you can find a nine millimeter. That would probably be your least expensive right. entry. I'm gonna guess that that'd probably still be like eleven or twelve hundred bucks probably. No, no. Well no. how much are those? They're under a thousand bucks. Yeah, under a thousand dollars, yeah. Dude. Yeah I, I think yeah, I think you're right around seven hundreds. Yes. Yeah, wow. Seven, yeah you, you gotta find them though. <laughs> yeah, yeah I gotta find them. Yeah. Right. Yeah. But if you if you can find it, I mean it's a it's a it's a it's an awesome gun. So you were telling us about the TriStar. Right. Right. And and, that sounds like right, it was actually Turkish. I had it confused with a different company. You said it was a Turkish shotgun company. Yeah, yeah, yeah. TriStar. Yeah. I yeah, I got to shoot that one at, at a range day here at Brownells. It, and I'd also gotten to shoot um the Springfield Prodigy and then also somebody there had a staccato. And it wasn't, I mean, I'll just be honest, it wasn't this I mean, it's like it's like I'm trying to think of a of, of a like there's there's Johnny Walker Blue. Right, yeah, and then there's Johnny Walker Black, and then there's Johnny B- Walker at other labels. They're all Johnny Walker, right? But right, Johnny Walker Blues up here. <laughs> so it's, it's sort of it's sort of the same thing. I mean, it it was good. Uh, it wasn't perhaps as refined as mm-hmm. as the others because I mean it's just not just not uh, made to the same tolerances in the same way. But it still had a whole lot of good features. It still had the double stack nine millimeter capacity. It still had the nineteen eleven trigger. And I could I could sure hit stuff with it. It was fun to mm-hmm. shoot. Okay. Mm-hmm. Okay. That's interesting. I can't I gotta get to one of those brown nails range days, man. Right. Well, the only problem with this one was uh 
it was it was for outdoor sportsman's group media day so it was it was media only but uh gun con is coming I, I, have you heard of gun con yes. oh yeah i'll be there oh heck yeah well you you'll be at a brown Ells range day okay awesome man. <laughs> yep yep I'll, I'll be there to hang out with you at that one. oh hell yes yes come so, on down so 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 now prodigy i'm just thinking the 2011 stuff because that's what's hot right now right prodigy I don't. I didn't know about the TriStar. What else is out there? Because Gerson has a really nice one, right? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. They, they call it the twenty three eleven too, right? They call it twenty three eleven. I got a chance to shoot that at Shot Show. I haven't seen it anywhere, but it's it's a nice shooting gun. Bull Armory too. Yep. Bull, Bull Armory is expensive, man. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Not not. I mean, not not knocking them. I mean, I guess they're great firearms, but they're really expensive. And there's even some like custom gun makers who are making them for uh, whatever various IDPA shooting sports mm -hmm. competition shooting. Yep. Roadblock, you late. We were talking yeah, about you. the BRN 180. Yeah, you. Hey, what's you up with that BRN 180? Uh, that 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 must that seems like a hot topic, huh? It's it's been very very popular. And again, the, the big thing is you can you can run it with a folding stock and run it folded, and it takes AR-15 mags. Yep. I like that. All right, Roy, that's it. <laughs> yeah, I like that. You got my wheels turning now. All right, all right. I got it. I, got well, I, I know a guy. I know a guy. So I, 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 I know. I, I think I know, I know a, guy. a guy too, man. I'm gonna. <laughs> I'm gonna. I'm gonna talk to that guy in the next week or so. Yeah, yeah. I, I know a guy. Yeah. Think, okay. Now you were talking about what's hot. The other thing I that's just struck my mind. Two. Okay, I was talking about ten millimeter. I forgot totally. I apologize to you, Sig Sour. But even the three twenty comes in ten millimeter now. Yeah, right. That's the X ten. Yeah. Yep, and then there's also the 5.7 pistols. Yes. Those are hot now, too, because, I mean, ammo used to be unobtainium, but now enough ammo is being made. Uh, I think also because some pistols, more and more pistols are being cranked out. What do you think about the uh, the PSA rocks? I have not, I've, I mean, I've, I've read about it. I've not put my hands on one yet. I'd love to, but but I've, I've read good things about it, but I've not actually shot one, so I, I can't really say. Now, they probably got the most affordable one, right? Yeah. I they very well good. might. Yeah. I mean, Ruger, I've seen, it, or even it's been around long enough. Every once in a while, a used Ruger 5.7 will come in the retail store, and that's that's <laughs> that's not expensive. <laughs> no, right. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Yeah. Yeah, the Ruger, yeah, the Ruger's price pretty uh, reasonable. Yeah. Would that it, be our in upper work on the MCX lower? Say again? Would that be our in upper? Will it work on the MCX lower? I do don't know for sure. Well, well, is the M6 MCX is that significantly different from a standard AR15 lower? Because I don't, I don't own one, and I've never shot one. The MCX mil spec. Yeah, that's what I'm. Cabo, is it? Mm -mm. That seems to be. See, you, when you start talking to those those big time rifle guys, they they're gonna be familiar with that that uh that VRN 180. Seven? Have y'all seen that? Yeah, seen that was the one that um, Armel had spoke about. Really? Yeah. Too yep. many games. Now, oh, a 5.7 I haven't seen move around yet much is the Smith & Wesson. Right. I don't know what the, you know, if it's a bad time for their for them to be pushing it or not, hmm. but I, I haven't seen much about I it. I think they just... They surprised everybody because even when we were at Shot Show and we were talking to the guys on the floor, they were like, "We didn't find out about this till a couple of hours ago." Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah, by yeah. the way, yeah, exactly. Y'all gonna need to be able to talk to people about this. Here's 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 your information. Yeah, yeah. you're right. Yeah. yeah, that's what it was. And, and we said, "Hey, when did this happen?" And he was like, uh, "I think right. <laughs> right now. It's happening right now. Right? Yeah, yeah. That's is, there, is there a um for you?" Being being in the industry and seeing so much come and go, come and go, come and go. Is there a unicorn gun that you just want but can't get your hands on? For years, I wanted a Walther PPQ Navy model. It was the mm -hmm. Walther PPQ that had the the threaded muzzle that extended out past the the end of the slide a little bit. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I, there was one in the retail store, and I, things were a little bit tight, and I foolishly let it walk. Oh. And that's the only one I've ever physically seen in the flesh and put my hands on. And I held out and held out and held out. And then they discontinued them. Uh, so I, I just, I just settled and went with a Walther PDP. 
So uh, for some strange reason, I don't even know why. I think I just like the way the barrel looks sticking out past the slide. But that, that that's a unicorn gun for me. Uh, and then my other unicorn guns are going to be, you know, things that hadn't been made for 100 years. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 Fair enough. PDP. Well, I, that's that is that is. I've I've concealed carried my PDP, and anytime I'm I'm driving around, I've got my PDP in the vehicle with me. All right, PDP feels like man. a new Glock. Hell y'all, man. Yeah, yeah. That is a that is a gun, man. I oh. love Walther PDP. Yeah. Oh man. So yeah. my, my buddy in the chat roadblock kept telling me about the PDP, and I was like, you know, man, get out of my face. I don't know. Oh I, man, get out of here. Oh man. And then There's... I got a chance to go and, and shoot with him and shot his and got lucky enough from another guy to, to get my hands on uh -huh. one. And Lord, uh -huh. I haven't looked back, man. I yes. love that. Oh, it's got one of the best polymer frame pistol triggers I've ever shot for a factory trigger. Do y'all know uh do y'all know a guy named Byron the instructor who, who sometimes does stuff with, with Kevin Dixie, the real NOC? I, I, I know uh, his name. Yeah, Byron, Byron the instructor. Uh, he let me shoot his at Kevin Dixie's training learn about two years ago. And, you know, and, and like light shone from heaven and angels mm -hmm. went, Oh, went, okay. <laughs> All right. I got to get one. So every, every time I see Byron, I say, thank you. Do you, <laughs> did you do anything to yours or you left it factory? I have left mine just factory. Just me too. See, he wrote like he's telling me he changed a spring or did something. And I'm oh. like, man, I don't, I don't. I don't see what it needs. Like, I, I, I got to find something wrong with it first. Yeah. I, yeah. And that's when I have not put a red dot on. I don't, I shoot that one. Just, just, just oh, really? Right. Yeah. Oh, I got a red dot on mine, but well, okay. See, <laughs> you got a red dot and I don't. Yep. I, and I, and I, and I put the red dot on there. And I, it's hard for me to miss with that gun. Oh yeah. Yeah. Oh my God. Yeah, Cause I, I, I put, I put so the red trash. dots on. Go ahead. Sorry. No, I was just saying, I talk so much trash when I'm shooting that thing. Oh yeah. Oh, but uh, you can but you can't. It, it, yeah, it's, <laughs> but you can't. Awesome can. Yes, yeah. I love my PDP. But yeah, I put my red dots on my polymer 80s that I built. That's that's where my red dots are. Okay. 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 Yep. Um, I know that there, so so Walter has another gun that I actually put a video out on a couple weeks ago, and I thought I was having some issues with it, but the issues were me because it's slowly becoming one of my favorite guns to shoot, and that's the Walter WMP. Oh, the 22 mag. Ooh yes. Boy, that's a sexy thing. I love it now, man. Like, I haven't done an updated video on anything, but, dude, I was so wrong. I thought something was wrong with the gun, but apparently when it came, when it got shipped to me, it had, I keep telling everybody it had lotion in it because it looked like <laughs> it had some type of white substance that was going on on the inside of it, and it was making the gun run a little freakish. I would fire it around. And then the round would get stuck. Right, right. And then the slide was stuck, and I couldn't. I had to, you know, jar it loose or or bang the slide forward and all that. So eventually, I just took it home, took it apart, and I'm like, I'm gonna deep clean this thing. I deep cleaned it really good, lubed it up, took it back. I haven't had an issue out of it since. I'm probably awesome. five, six hundred rounds now. Oh heck yeah! Keep running that thing is like yes, yes. trucking yes. along. It's everything I thought it would be. And it's 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 a 22 on steroids, literally. It's, it's mm -hmm. oh yeah, I like 22 mags. 22 yeah, mags so are fine. So I like that gun, man. It's affordable. Yeah. It's full size. Reminds me a lot of the PDP. Mm -hmm. um, and you know, no recoil. Loud as all hell. Oh no yeah, 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 yeah. Big old fireball. Oh heck yeah. It's like it's like poor man's 5.7. Heck yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. Definitely. Heck yeah. Okay, there we go, poor man. Yeah. See, thank you, Roy. You're welcome. Yeah, I work in marketing, so you know. Oh <laughs> man, I'm, I'm using that. <laughs> <laughs> gentlemen I've, I've thoroughly enjoyed hanging out with y'all my my stupid headset's gonna die again that's why uh, uh, and I, this may be it for me so if, if i don't come back I, I, I apologize i would love to come back in the future and sit around and just talk about gun stuff with y'all this is, this sure, is very man. very well, i appreciate you stopping in um, yeah. taking time out your busy schedule and this Happy is way to. after business hours so i totally right. appreciate it right way and, after and I hope to see uh, you and and if if y'all two can come to Gun Con, come on, come and we'll on have that. some fun. We'll that, oh man. hell yeah! yeah. So, so yeah. Never, mind. never mind. I just got something I need to talk to you about that I heard about tonight that I learned about that is really interesting to me, but I don't want to talk about it right now because okay, well, you 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 got my email and I know a guy. <laughs> all right, all right. We'll talk soon. Well, thanks, man. It all dies. Thank y'all very much. I'll talk to y'all later. All right, bye.
Mr. Roy Hill, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah. Cool guy, man. Yeah, man. He's a cool guy. So, man, he just got me going on some stuff, man. Thinking about I, that. What's I know about that VR 180? I never, I never, see, I, 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 I'll be I, out I, of the mix, bro. I didn't really pay pay attention to him. I've, I've seen that Brandos has him, but I, I didn't know about him like what well, he explained it like that. No, that that's interesting. I like that. Right, and you know, I'm not even like I'm not the big time rifle guy. Right. But sometimes certain stuff catch your attention, right? You'd be like, wait a minute. It's it's funny because like he said, it's it's innovative, but it's old school. <laughs> it, it's like yeah, the best yeah. of the world. Yep. Yeah. They they take old old school thought process. Ramsey, they say technology hey Ramsey, you got one, bro. Somebody said Big Tap got one, but he's not in here right now. Is he? No, I don't think so. I ain't see him. I like to know somebody that has some experience with one. I would love to get that and go take it out to um, take it out to the range. Just have some fun with it. It just looked dope. Mm-hmm. I like it. Goes on any any lower too. Yeah, exactly. Mm-hmm. Oh, Ramsey said he got three hundred black. Yeah, you got one. Okay. Hmm. See. See, I think I want to go five five six though, just because for ammo or seven six two. That'd be even right. Yeah, seven six two sound serious, man. The one, the, the reason I like three hundred is because he says you could turn the gas system all the way off. I just like to. So, so, so that. explain that to me. When you turn the gas system all the way off, because did I hear him? Did I? I don't know if I heard this correctly. That's why I say I'm slow. Okay. Does it? So when you adjust it. He said you could turn it into like a single shot, almost like a. No, oh, he, did I hear that or what, what was I hearing? I'm trying to remember how he exactly how he explained it. Explained it. Damn, Ramsey could tell us. Yeah, Ramsey, you could tell us exactly how it works. <laughs> but that's he, dope, though. So you yeah. could turn it off. So I guess only thing that happens, I guess, I guess the round is the only thing that's causing the action to, to work. So there's no. There's no extra gas or anything, so you don't get all that extra noise. So it's mm. super duper quiet. I'd like to hear that. I don't know, but well, I mean, that was a Billy answer right there. I mean, I'm listen. I'm doing I what, I feel, what I got. I think exactly. I think I don't know. I think. Okay. Okay. See, yeah, that's what he said. I thought I heard that right. What? It won't cycle with less gas, so it basically turns into a boat action light. Okay. Oh. Yeah, see, and I imagine some people probably run it like that on purpose. Mm-hmm. He said this robot said the seven six two is violent. <laughs> <laughs> Dang man, see why y'all ain't put us on to that man? Oh, two A and LA said, hold on to that FNX forty five. I think two A and LA is like fifteen minutes behind. I think. Yeah, you know how that go. No, yeah. I, I think you know, I think he said it before. Because he said once was enough, and I don't know what he's talking about on that one. <laughs> that got to be something that happened earlier for sure. Earlier, earlier. <laughs> the gun food. What up, what up brother, brother? Speaking of ammo. Speaking of ammo. Speak about it. I don't know if y'all been buying the ammo or y'all been checking out the gunfood.com. Um, I was just talking to Patrick the other day, man. Mm-hmm. You got some good stuff going on over there. So if y'all haven't went over there and definitely use the RGG code, it's a little discount, especially for you guys in the Atlanta area. You can go and pick it up. And even if you not, they ship so damn fast. Um, you know, and you got the, I, well, Definitely some of the best prices around for sure. Matter of fact, let's mm-hmm. go check out some Apple prices. Y'all want to do that? Sure. We got a few more minutes. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. I want to see what yeah, that uh that company. Oh man, what's that? What's the name of the company that that ammo that you were shooting? Recent. Ruag. Ruag. Did I was Ruag? There you go. Yep. Yep. I want to see what that Ruag is. Uh, I'd be running the hell out of it. Howard J said he was on the other day and couldn't find the uh, bulk ammo. Let me see. You have to make it bulk. Yeah, you got to order it. 
and and so let me keep see where we are right now. Thirteen ninety nine for the. 124 grain Fiocchi. They go to Ruak. And that shit run good, 1375. man. 1375. 1375. So what's still what's the 147 score back down again, bro? I need me some 147. Okay. Range rounds 147. 20 bucks. Let's go. Let's go. Let's. I don't know why I didn't uh put my card at go view cart. We could change that quantity. What 20 rounds make a case, right? A thousand. Mm -hmm. There you go. 275. 275. You can use RGG. Two A in LA say is a good looking gun. <laughs> mm -hmm. There you go, right there, y'all. Two fifty nine. Two in LA is on a crazy delay. Good <laughs> 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 looking gun. Hey man, somebody, somebody text Two A in LA and tell them to fast forward this computer. I feel like. <laughs> I feel like I'm talking to uh, somebody with some sundowners or something. Yes, it is a nice looking gun. <laughs> Oh man! Hey Patrick, if you're still in here, man, what's the what's the best deal going right now? I mean, thirteen seventy five. I mean, you don't gotta buy a thousand rounds. So if y'all need to buy some ammo, go on there, use the code, get yourself together. That's definitely an awesome price. He got some of the best prices out there. Matter of fact. And you're talking about more than name brand ammo, so you're not just talking about reloads or, or whatever. You said the best deal going right now, 762 by 39. Oh, okay. Mm. You just spoke about that. If you want to, man, you want to come on and talk about the deals? If you're available, hell, we got a couple more minutes. Hey, only June said he's about to order right now. And order right now. Last year, when when we were going through like the rough spots, trying to buy ammo, only June was the only one that was getting good deals. <laughs> right? <laughs> yeah, he'd be coming here. Yeah, I found some. Uh, he said, "I found fifty rounds for, for nine ninety nine. It was. It's only at my local. Like store. what the hell? <laughs> All right, hmm. somebody get to it in L.A. Right <laughs> I texted him. This, this is 2020. Right now, man. He's messing the whole chat up. Right. Somebody. Somebody. <laughs> hey, hey we're going to be long gone. He's going to be mad as hell what we're saying right now. <laughs> that four, He said the 410, the best price he's seen in two years. He was asking me that I need some 410. Don't make me go. Don't make me go get a. I need a 410 upper, man. I want that 410 shot wave. What's that? It's a shot, you know, a shot wave, the little. Oh, the shock wave. Shock. Yeah, okay. You know what shock wave is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, yeah, I, I'm scared to shoot mine again. Mm -hmm. Peace, Ghost. So you got both 410 too. Click on that link, man. Yeah, the <laughs> race gun. He, he still he way God, behind. Would you get him? <laughs> the race gun is three k. Everybody, time out, damn race gun. Right he, he got like a fifteen minute delay. <laughs> two dollars ahead in two a in LA on the short bus. <laughs> <laughs> what do they call that? Sweet pickles. <laughs> <laughs> damn, oh shit. god, he he probably he probably looked at this computer like the chat slow. Right. You know what? Yeah, you, know what you know what wrong? <laughs> he probably ain't changed the time on the microwave. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit! Oh, Damn. Mm -mm -mm. Hell no. Two eight L A. I mean, yeah, he out there just talking about shit that happened. <laughs> it's forty five minutes ago. The thing is now, I can't wait to see what he's gonna say next. <laughs> 
Right. We're just going to watch his comments for the rest of the like, hey, I got a question for Roy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, damn. I was seeing a Patrick. He said, back. my bad. I'm back. You see, now you back now. <laughs> hey, fam, fam. <laughs> <laughs> Man, fair, you talking about an hour ago. We like, what the hell are you talking about, man? That conversation was yesterday. <laughs> he says it's brought that going <laughs> 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 Oh, shit. Oh, man. Golly. Bougie Prepper was good. Hey, Bougie. Don't speak to 2A in LA. He's going to speak to you in about 30 minutes. <laughs> Um, mm -hmm. I was gonna see if Patrick go come on talk about some of the ammo prices, but definitely go to the gunfood.com. Like he said, give me give me a few. No, Maybe. a different link. I just put the link out there. He might be talking about a link that you text him or something. No, I didn't. <clears throat> it's the one I just put out there. He said he on last week's live. <laughs> 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 Have y'all been seeing any other y'all been seeing any other crazy ammo prices or anything? I'm, I'm my, Mellow. My spot is still at the same price. <laughs> I would Jay stupid. I just need to I need to go out there. Still at the same price. It sounded impressive at first, but it's not. I ain't dissing it. I mean, I'll go get it too. But it, it sounds it sounded like it was super good. I think the pot, the lowest you can find advertised ammo prices for 50 rounds would be about 12 bucks a box, give or take. That's the lowest you'll find. It is. When you calculate it all in. I'm talking about you within you within dollars, a couple dollars. Not no, not no, not no noticeable dollar amounts. Unless Unless you could get that with no taxes and free shipping, then that might change the game a little bit. But you know what? I think also, man, going to get it, if you don't live near it, calculate that. You know, you, you might get yeah, a better. You calculate that in, then you're going to be right there. That's why I say I think um, – I said this, I, even when I be talking about whatever, but I, I really believe this. I believe that uh, the gunfood.com got some of the best price. He compete, he competes with anybody. Yeah. So, KO, where you order a thousand rounds ship for 250 and what was the brand? Was it Reloads or what? That's 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 pretty cheap. Mm -hmm. That is pretty cheap. So usually when you see deals like that, it's always something that don't exist no more. You got them them bullets from Wish. Right. <laughs> <laughs> well, it was reloads. Yeah. I mean, it's 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 always possible there's something it, it was a couple of spots that I could have got, you know, nearly nearly ten ninety nine a a box, but ten ninety nine. You found ten ninety nine a box? Yeah, I did. Yeah, it, it's gone. Like like he said. It, it, it be there. You don't jump on it. That should be gone. A store Ooh. called Borelli. Really? Are oh, you talking about? I know Borelli. I bought the stuff from them before. Yeah, Borelli's. They 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 sell a lot of firearm related stuff. They, Good, they sell, amazing deals. They sell, they, they sell a lot of everything, boots and body yeah. armor, all that. That's where a lot of those they had those sales on those writing optics for like a hundred bucks. Yeah, that's where, I, that's where I got them all from. Yeah. <laughs> What's up, RGG? What's Yo. up, big dog? How you doing, man? Doing good, you guys? Not bad. Hey, real there, I called you right back, but it went to voicemail, so I think I called you back too soon. Oh, nah, okay. I was talking with these dogs. Gotcha. You look like you put some perm in your in your beard, man. It's like it's wavy. Hey, what's up, man? You back at that gun oh, range again? I see. Jelly in it, man. What's, up? <laughs> what's going on, gents? What's happening? Chilling. How you feel? Man, I just got out of one podcast. I spent two and a half hours on it, and I'm back here on yours. So yeah, yeah. that's because this is the place to be. I'm not gonna diss the other podcast because I don't know who they are. 
<laughs> but the audience ain't like this one. <laughs> no, I, yeah, yeah, you know how it is. You know how it is. Actually, it was on uh, Hick Strange. Oh, oh, okay. Oh, okay, 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 okay. Strange, Shout right? out to Hank Strange. Yeah, yeah. So I was, I was thinking about him the other day. I was wondering if he was still around. I haven't seen a video of his forever. <laughs> yeah, I ain't gonna diss him. Yeah, oh, he, he makes he makes right videos, man. Oh, people fall right away. Shout Hank is from Fall Rock Away. Uh huh. Is he? Uh huh. Hey, Patrick, what's going on in the in the uh, in the ammo world, man? Whew, not much. Just ramping up for a whole bunch of events, man. It's it's been real busy, real busy. Um, ammo prices are fluctuating like normal. You know, I heard you guys talking about you know nine mil. Sometimes that's that's a um, you know when they get it in in a big container and they're trying to move it fast to get people because once you get a little bit of momentum, you get a lot of momentum. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And so what they'll do is you know let's say if they bought it for I don't know whatever they buy it for. And they sell it for a little tiny bit of margin. Um, you know, they they probably had that they probably had that container coming from two years ago, you know, three years ago, and now they're just getting it. And now yeah. they're like, now they're stuck with all this overstock, and that, you know, that's how it, the way it goes. But I mean, our prices are based off of replenishment; they're not based off of uh, you know negotiated rates per se. So, yeah, yeah. yeah. Hold on, Patrick. Hey, fam, you all right? Dog, so so are, are we is, are we about to rate the platypuses? Yeah. Hey, yeah, we, send, send it in, send hey, it in. We we was worried about you, man, because your comments was looking real weird. I'm like, I I hope he's not having some type of medical emergency because he's talking about <laughs> stuff that happened yeah. an hour ago. He, he, said, he said he said, "What's up to Yoki and Miss Red Phoenix?" I said, "Boy, that was like <laughs> <a> real, <laughs> right." <laughs> You don't smell toast, do you? You have, have a stroke, are you? Man, I, I had to jump off and, and go to my other computer. When I came back, I pressed play and forgot to fast forward to the point in the, to the, point in the line where everybody was at. <laughs> I've seen that happen before. I, I was hey. having some hot comments. I was giving some hot takes. And, you know. we, every time you gave a hot comment, we was like, what the fuck is he talking about? <laughs> 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 we talking about that forty five minutes ago. Back, back. I'm out here, you know. I'm out here trying to hold my man Patrick down because I be telling everybody he got these good prices. Then KO jump on and say he found a thousand rounds of nine for for twenty six dollars. So I'm on the I'm on the website that he said he found it on, and I can't find it. I can mm-hmm. say you know what. And during all that, two A in LA said that's a nice gun. <laughs> <laughs> No, it's, it's $2,300. It's $2,300. Yes, that's right. <laughs> nice <one. laughs> I'm getting nine. I'm getting nine millimeter for $18 a box for round ball right now. Oh, wow. Ooh. Are you happy about that? Yeah. You... It says it's on sale. <laughs> <laughs> you, better, you, said, you, you said 19? 18. 18? 147 grain? Yeah, brass. Yeah, yeah. One forty-seven is still high. I could probably beat that, but one forty-seven is still high. In fact, I, what's my price with the discount? It's probably right around there. Two dollars. Yeah, it's probably right around there. I mean, that's just that's just ball ammo that you're shooting at the range, like in your, in your yeah. backyard, right? Fifty rounds. Why you don't just? It's a one fifteen. You do. Yeah, you gotta get what's on sale, man. Sometimes, when, sometimes the one forty seven. I gotta go. You need better sales. <laughs> I need to get stuff so I can do my own reloads. I need primers. I got. I got your primers. Shoot me an email, man. You got primers? Yeah, I got primers. Oh, you're 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 my savior. He said, "Yeah, I got primers." <laughs> oh man, I'll be hitting you up now because my two goals, my two main goals this year, well, my three main goals is is trying not to buy a lot of guns because I want to focus on new metal targets for the gun range, and I want to get some. Re- I want to get some ammo stockpiling going. That's was that two things or was that three? I- I said three. Not to buy too many guns. 
Metal targets. <laughs> ammo. That's all that really matters. All that matters. Larable. 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 Ammo better be larval. Right. I got two uh I got two trees coming as we speak. I just ordered them. The metal target you know what I'm talking about, the metal target. Yeah. Huh? yeah. Oh nice. nice. Yep. Nice. Oh, good. Let me set up when we go back out there. All right. Exactly. I'm going to fall for the weather to break so I can get back out there. I'm going to get some of those. I'm going to get some poppers. I plan on getting some hostage targets and some other stuff. All right. <laughs> you trying to get hostages or hostage targets? Which Hostage, metal hostage targets. Yeah, oh, hostage. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> the hostage comes out when, they, when, the, when the guys come out. I'm shooting. <laughs> I got me some hostage. <laughs> Mm -mm -mm. Well, that's not a back in the barn, real deal. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Let me show you something. Come back here. Look, real deal. I need you to bring that bucket to the meetup. I feel like it's part of the family now because we see it every week. <laughs> oh, go ahead and bring the bucket to the meetup. Yes, yes. Yes, that's, that's his new channel. channel. <laughs> that's that's new channel. Bucket in real deal. Right, real deal. <laughs> Down in the bucket. Out. <laughs> what you say, Grand Life AJ? We have some carbon defense plus two. 12 to 13. I miles. mean, I imagine, I imagine sometimes you can go if you, especially locally, if you got some ammo spots, you can find some decent deals. I mean, I found some, I found some 10 millimeter the other day for like twenty three dollars, man. Yeah, that's a good price at, at at the farm and fleet, you know. By me, but that ain't something I can always get. I'll be trying to grab it when I do see that stuff. But I think that for us that buy ammo at a high rate, mm -hmm. yeah, you know what I'm saying? You got go to the gunfood.com. He always he always got a good hey, price, better price. Always listen. If you are in or near the Atlanta area, hit him up, please. Mm -hmm. Can't beat that. So, how much do you charge for shipping primer since it's you know? <laughs> well, so primers, you're gonna have to get with me. You, we're gonna have to, we're gonna have to chat about that on the primers because I don't list primers on my site. I don't list powders on the site uh, because of the red tape. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so I just don't. You got to just. That's it. Yeah. 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 But I got you, bro. I got you, man. You got small pistol. Reloading, real deal. Oh, yeah. awesome. yep. So. So you were saying you got some good deals going on on uh, 762? 762, yeah, I got some uh, some uh, very good deals. So my bulk ammo, if you guys don't know about my bulk my bulk ammo, bulk ammo is basically the corners that are left, right? If I got four boxes left, I'm not going to say I got it anymore. So I put it into a container, right? This one set container gets full, we create we pardon out and we uh, do like 25 or sorry, 250 rounds in a bag. Uh, and um, it's going to be mixed. It's going to you're going to have soft. You're going to have hollow points. You're going to have 122 and 124 grain. But it's all going to be good stuff. It's just I can't I can't sell a box of ammo and say I have a box, right? Yeah. So yeah, we just mix it all together and call it bulk ammo. Same thing with five five six and two two three. Once mm -hmm. we run low on a brand, just throw it in a container and scoop it out and dish it out. But uh, yeah, the uh, five five six is going up in price, um, and so with my price, I think I'm at like forty one, forty two cents around, something like that, um, which is pretty much going to be the the cheapest that you'll find it, even when you do the budget searches, you know. Yeah. Okay. Okay. And then you said four ten. 410, yeah. So the 410, you're going to have to shoot me an email. We, we have a couple of uh, 410, um, well, we only have one link, I think, left that we have uh, case quantities of. Everything else is subcase quantities. But we did, we're sorting through, we want an auction, so we're sorting through these loose rounds, subcase quantities, I should call them. So we got these mixed bags. Uh, it's 50 rounds for like 21 or $22, something like that. Um mm -hmm. And it's 50 rounds, but it'll be slugs, buckshot, very little birdshot in it because birdshot you can identify by the crimp. Mm -hmm. um, so, yeah. So it's just a buck and slug, a couple of birdshot maybe mixed in there. 
But uh, yeah, the, anyhow, that's, that's uh, fifty rounds for twenty two dollars. Okay. Four ten seems to be a hard round to get. Still. Mm -hmm. Yeah. In fact, if you guys give me a second, I can even show you what it looks like because I, I just uh, brought some in to uh, show a couple customers for tomorrow. Give me one second. I'll be Go right ahead. back. Go ahead. Yeah. So my gun guy, I have. Uh, I'm on the wait list, or not the wait, the wish list. To get the uh, Rock Eye 22 TCM nine millimeter combo. Mm, nice. Oh, oh, look at you. It's, it's a unicorn, man. I know he says he just makes them and makes them and makes them. But... Yeah, yeah. Damn, Patrick, you didn't put it on the microphone, didn't you? Yeah, the whole arm in that damn. Maybe some popcorn. You ain't, you ain't fall. Dude. <laughs> Take off the screen that way you guys can see me. See this here. Let's see here. Virtual. Wait a minute, you're not gun range? No. <laughs> 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 yep. So no, anyhow, okay. yep. So check this out. It's 50 rounds. And you can see here, most of the rounds are slugs or some type of bird shot. Mm -hmm. It's kind of hard to see in here, but yeah. So got that going on. Um, I will have some 20 gauge and 12 gauge as well. 12 gauge, I think, is going. I mean, maybe I gave you the 12 gauge price. I think the 12 gauge was 50 rounds for 22. Um, but we do have the 410 uh, slugs, um, which is right around that same price, maybe $26. For 25 shots, I, I, I don't really have to get all these numbers, man. You know how it yeah. is. Mm -hmm. Just go to the website, guys, for what he has listed. And if not, you can just hit him up, email him from the site, thegunfood.com. Use the code RGG, save you a couple bucks. Resilient Dad, thank you, man. What's Appreciate up, Resilient? Shout out to the Bay. Shout out to the day. Ramsey J. Ramsey J. Obviously been shopping with you. Mm -hmm. so that's good, man. That's good. Yo, did you, did you get the package? Did you package Not yet. Not yet. Oh, it, it's tomorrow. Tomorrow, tomorrow, yeah. tomorrow. Tomorrow. Yeah. Hell, I just ordered it. Feel like last night. I, I would have got it today, man. I would have been. <laughs> I'd have been like you, that dude, boy. If I I'm trying that, to be fast for you, brother. I'm oh man, you, you, it always—it's crazy, man. Coming from down there all the way here, and you know? it's usually like a, I usually try to order on Monday if I can, y'all. And Patrick always have it to me. I'm talking about at my door Wednesday, and it'd be Wednesday morning, like <laughs> 11 a.m. Yeah, the door. So that's great, man. And I, and I think Georgia, from Georgia, yeah. So that's you know, you can't beat that, man. Yeah, I think it's a two-day turn for, for most of our shipments to, to uh, Illinois, or at least in that area. Hit them up early because he'll ship it the same day. If you hit them up pretty early, mm -hmm. they get it out the same day down there. If, if I order something, it'll take it take a whole week, man. I'm telling you, <laughs> and it ain't you. No, where are you at? South Georgia. Oh, come on, man. No, I got you, Yo. man. It won't take a I got, whole week. I, I, can drive, I can drive up there quicker. Than, man, it hits. Our, our mail goes to Tallahassee first. Really? And it gets looped it. Yeah, it's nuts. It's nuts. Next time I'm in LA, I'm, I'm 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 coming to see you. I I had a I had a customer order from uh, Jacksonville, and they got it in 13 hours. Yeah, Jacksonville's dope. Damn. Yeah. Yeah, 13 hours. Yeah. It surprised him because he he was like, "Yo, I didn't even want to answer my door at eight o'clock in the morning. Like, who be ringing my doorbell?" <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's dope. Push up. All right, we got the link out there in the chat, y'all. I'm about to end this thing because I got something upstairs waiting on me. Um, Pizza. Wait, wait, yeah. what you got? Yeah, yeah, wait, 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 wait. I got to go. I haven't ate since breakfast. I went I went to go shoot today. I'm going to tell y'all a story. I don't know who in the chat is going to believe it and who's not, but I was at the range with gun camp. It was, it was Asian Wick. Eddie Tactical, Twister, uh, uh, Rudy, a couple other guys, JL Customs. I beat everybody. Video coming out tomorrow. That's all I got to say. I don't know who wants to believe it or not. <laughs> you, and you say you ain't eating. You ain't eating nothing all day. You beat everybody. That's just how it went, man. All right. I mean, so I he, he shoot good when he angry. 
He's right. hungry. He's hungry. He's hungry. <laughs> <laughs> no, man. Throw the mails up. Thank you, Jason Ewan. Thank you, Resilient Dad. I appreciate it. Thank you, everybody that came through. Thank you, Mr. Roy Hill. Thank you, Brown Nails. Thank you, everybody that, that's been supporting, man. And we'll talk more on Friday. Friday. We'll see y'all on Friday. Friday. All right.